after your successful raid on the munitions depot in 9-6 and you awaken the next morning after an extended rest when the flap of your tent opens and hot ash laden air wakes you. Fai Chen looks in, a grim smile upon his face. Today's the day, heroes, he says. The young girl Dara silently follows him in. I have good news. The gossip of the day is that two dozen infernal soldiers just arrived at the munitions dump you attacked yesterday. If they got there that fast, they had to have been from Plague Shield Point. You'd best get ready. The window of opportunity won't last long, probably only a day or so. And uh, as you guys wake up and are eating your breakfast and getting your weapons prepared and your spells prepared for the day, he asks, he, he shares some info on Plagueshield Point, asks if you guys have any questions. So interrupt him at any time as he's telling you about Plague Shield Point. Um, it was once an underdark outpost before it was dragged into Avernus and down into the River Styx. Finding the River Styx is easy enough, but getting to the bottom of the river won't be. I don't know how to get there, but I know a reclusive drow wizard. His name is Respin Shadow Swimmer, and he might know. He was originally from Plague Shield Point. Uh, he has survived his descent and now resides in a tower at the banks of the Styx. The journey to the tower would take about four hours from here by foot, so you'd best hurry. So you gather your gear together, and if you have no further questions for Fai Chen, you head out across the plains of Avernus. So do you want casting spells before you start your journey in the morning? Can we take Tom, I'm not sure I have control of uh, my character. You don't think you have control of uh, hard? No. Huh. It's either that or it's locked up, but never, well, maybe it's just... If you rub it harder, it will get. it will do more of what you tell it to. It says it's representing you. Yeah, I, I, I'm not able to chat either. I think I'm locked up. Yeah, try to re reload that. Okay. Uh, what? Does he have any background information on Respin? No. Uh, other than that, he is a reclusive uh, drow mage. Uh, he came from Plague Shield Point, so he might know how to get back down into it. He lives in a tower. He lives in a van I'm down sure by the river. Ask him nicely. He'll tell us all the secrets. In <laughs> the van down by the river. What? What? What was our well, for going into the river sticks? What was that question, Glory? Yes. Glory, Glory wants to go for a swim. The river sticks. Just one touch, and it robs you of your memory. It's uh. It's something that's to be trifled with. No, it is definitely not. Don't just dive in and try and find it. Fai Chen laughs. Oh. You're going to need some sort of magical way. Uh, Drow don't retain any kind of special resistance to it either. So if uh, Respin, the Drow wizard, got out, hopefully he can get you back in. All right. You have no further questions. Oh. Bai Chen and Dara bid you farewell and good luck. Remember, oh, remember, you're going to play Shield Point. The main purpose is to find the fated battle plan that uh, was used by a particular battalion known as the Bloody Hooves when they lost their uh, um, when their plan attack failed. Hopefully, the battle plan here might give you some insight into the war that uh, Zariel waged. Okay. Here we go. The banks... So, the four-hour trip from Mahadi's Emporium across the Ash Plains of Avernus, just sweating profusely as you're walking, um, just covered in grime. But eventually, you make it to the banks of the River Styx, it's a desolate place, littered with shrapnel and rusting remains of long-forgotten battles. Uh, you see a squat, three-story tall tower, the only structure still intact on the desolate riverbank. That must be where Respin is. 
The tower is about 45 feet tall, probably contains three floors, although you only see windows that look like they go into the first floor. They're about 10 feet off the ground. They're about 10 feet tall. Um, the natural light of Avernus lights the place. It's dim everywhere. And the ever-present sound of the running water from the river Styx is kind of drowning out any noise you guys make. And the air all around smells faintly of sulfur. So, there is one door into the base of the tower and multiple windows in the base of the tower. The diameter of the tower is about 45 feet. Or no, it's 45 feet tall. The diameter is closer to 100, 100 feet. Whoa. Pretty big. So, you should just knock and say hello. So, if you want to do that, um, do. I'm putting a map knock. Up here for you. Okay, you go up to the doors of the tower, which are right down here on your map, and knock, and there's no reply. But you see no lock on the doors either. In fact, they give a little bit. So you think you'll be able to just open them up. So open them. But that All would right. be rude. Oh, it could be trip, indisposed. Right? Well, no one answered so your knock. knock and then push the door open. Yeah, no one, no one answered your knock. Here, I did that. Here, here's the thing: okay. he, he could be in trouble, and if we don't go in and help him, I think that sounds like probable cause. <laughs> yeah, I'll open the door because I can lift nine. Absolutely. Pounds. Okay, you open the door to the first room right here. Inside is an open hall with the spiky iron desk against the back wall. Two doors flank that desk, and the circle of arcane sig sigils is inscribed upon the ground to your left. There's an imp sitting at the desk, copying notes from one piece of parchment to another. It doesn't look up, but says in a raspy, weak voice, A, hey, visitors, for respin. He doesn't admit mortals without an appointment or a very, very good reason. Yeah, tell Shallow Swallow that we... Uh... <clears throat> We were sent here by uh, Mwadi and uh, and uh, oh that Fai Chin guy. Uh, super important. We talked to him. What is it? What do you need to talk to him about? You know what? If it was something we could share with you, then it wouldn't be important enough to interrupt him. Hmm. But it's that kind of important. You know what I'm saying? He's really busy in his studies. His eyes narrow. The imp does as he looks up at you. And Jericho will attempt to assist the uh, uh, diplomacy. Okay. You can go for um, a intimidation check if you want. Uh, probably Jericho's probably higher, I would imagine. So why don't oh, you that, do it yeah. with advantage, Jericho, with hard, given the uh, bad cop the, side. The, the hard side. <laughs> <laughs> So Jarek is asking politely, but getting assistance from the bad cop routine. Yep. Um, doesn't seem like the imp's going to give in to any kind of diplomacy, because well, unless you have something more to share with him about why you, you're you here to see uh, Respin. But if you want to try and intimidate him, he might buckle. Now, now, Hard wasn't opposed to sharing information. He just didn't remember it to share. <laughs> That's good. Does so anyone want to share more info? Now that, now that the bad cop you know, has had his time... Jericho will say, look, look, I'm sorry about him. I know that there's a lot of important work you're doing. You know, you're a very important imp. And just try to kind of butter him up. Mm -hmm. And say, I know that you you must work for somebody very powerful. And uh, we, we just need a quick moment of his time. We'll just be in and out, no problems. And we'll let you get about to all your important work that you have going on here. You looking down at the important work he's doing, you can see that he's uh, copying notes. In Infernal. Do you speak in Infernal at all, or read or write Infernal? Yes. Okay. Infernal so is one of the ones that I speak innately. You can see that the notes that he's copying are rumors about the Devils of Plague Shield Point reinforcing a nearby munitions dump uh, due to a group of adventurers. And it's got some notes regarding those adventurers' nicknames and exploits. You can fill those in as you like, because you are the adventurers. And... Uh... I, I will mention, I was like, oh, I see you're talking about that raid over there. Yeah, I heard that that was, uh, was very masterfully carried off. He looks up at you and he squints his eyes. Oh. He uh, stands up, flaps his wings, and flies up towards the ceiling. Uh, 
not like in a route or like he's fleeing from you, but that he's going somewhere. And you look up, you see that there's a grated iron pipe up there. When he gets close, he yells into it. He says, Master, mortal visitors have come to call. Moments later, the arcane circle flares with light, and a gaunt male drow with red-tinged eyes and wearing tattered robes strides out. What business have you with Respin Shadow Swimmer, See, foremost scholar of the waters me. of the River Styx? Uh, Jericho will introduce herself and her companions and say it's an honor to meet him. And if I talk over anybody, it's because I've got a horrible internet connection and I apologize. Uh, it's well met. Why have you come calling? And uh, Jerrica will say, oh, well, is there a, a place that we could uh, speak a little bit more uh, privately? He looks over to the imp and snaps his fingers and the imp disappears. And he says, we are private enough here. Ah, there we go. And uh, Jericho will go into a discourse on uh, trying to get to the bottom of the river to snatch the plans and uh, give him the, the whole the whole idea of what we got going. Huh. The straw looked so haggard and um, not at all happy. It grows kind of momentarily wistful. He sees an interest in the information you share. He asks questions that, uh, about what you're doing, where you've gone. And he shares with you that he had a former apprentice. His name was a drow. His name was Viltharn, a drow like me. He thinks for a moment. Um, and he looks at you. Know, if you would be willing to accept a geese in exchange for my aid, I can offer to give you a bowl of commanding water elementals, which has a special trait in that if we can fill it with the water from the river Styx. The elemental that you summon can carry you through that very river, unharmed. Whoa! Uh, sounds good, but how is a sneeze going to affect us? It's not a sneeze. Oh. You will accept a spell that will require that you save my apprentice, Viltharn, if he yet lives, or destroy him if his soul has succumbed to Zariel's corruption. He looks over all of you, and he says, is this a fair exchange? Now, Tom, do I get any sense of, uh, bullshit from this guy knowing stuff about the river sticks? You don't. Okay. No, he seems, uh, truthful in everything he's saying. Well, Jerrica will say, well, that's not necessary, because she likes helping people, but she will submit to it nonetheless. He waits for you all to agree to either save his apprentice or destroy him if his soul has succumbed to Zariel. Do you well, all? Does yeah. anyone not agree? Save. Okay. He uh, cast the geese spell on you, and you don't know if it worked or didn't work. We can figure that out later. Um, if you were to not do what it said. Um... And he tells you some more about Plague Shield Point. It was originally a giant stalagmite with a hollow center located in the Underdark, but it was dragged into Avernus by the devils. I conjured a shield that protected the fort from the River Styx, which enabled us to create, which gave us time to create the bowl, such that we could escape. I know that devils now use the point as a prison. Once you get inside the keep, the only way into its crystalline heart, where its most guarded secrets are, and if the devils are holding anything secret, that's where it would be, is via a teleportation circle like the one I just used, but it requires one of two keystones to activate. The circle bound to the keep's heart is near its former, near my former quarters on the upper floor. Both I and my apprentice Viltharn who lived in the southeast tower, had keystones. Let me draw you a map. He, uh, actually, he disappears for a second and then returns with a map. And it's kind of stylized, so it doesn't give you a whole lot, but here it is over to the side over here. So the periphery here is the edge of the stalagmite. And this is open to the outside, and this is open to the outside. And 
On the ground floor, there's a large yard. There's a southeast tower where my apprentice will be, if he's still there. And there's a couple flights of stairs. One is here, and one is here. I go up to an upper floor, which is shown in dotted lines on this map. It's on this upper floor, in the first room of the upper floor, that you'll find the teleportation circle that can take you to the heart of the keep, where any secrets will be. Remember, you will need the key from my apprentice, or whoever the current master of the keep is, I suppose, who most likely is living in my former quarters, which are up here. Um, to get back out of the keep, you'll have to wait a day for the magic in the sensor or the bowl to recharge. And once it does, while the water elemental won't be able to breach the wards I put in place, it can be right beside them, and you can you can jump through the wards and into the water elemental that will be right beside them. It'll be right up against the shield. But again, you'll have to wait a day before you can leave. Any questions before you activate the magic of the bowl and descend? So, hypothetically speaking, how would your return to the uh, keep be received? Hashtag asking, asking for a friend. I would imagine uh, not well. I've never been back there since, and the devils are careful with intruders. Maybe more intruders like you all than me, seeing as how they know what you did to the munition dump. Ah, uh, yes. But is there anybody that anybody else that your apprentice might... Uh... Uh, appreciate coming by for an unexpected visit. He shares with you um, a uh, description of an elven um, dark elven woman that uh, his apprentice was fond of. Her name was Eskelia Eskelica breath. If you could, and he tries to describe her, but he seems like he isn't doing a real good job. He certainly wasn't as enamored with her as his apprentice was. And, and as to... he's describing her, Jerrica will change her, alter her perception to look just like his description. Yeah, that's about what she looks like. You know, says. making the nose a little bit smaller. Mm -hmm. We'll try to put on a uh, like a drow outfit that has like a veil on it to hide, you know, the facial features a little okay. bit. Okay. Guess... So we got one key that we're getting from the apprentice, and one key that we he's giving us. No, he doesn't have a key. Um, it was last he saw a key. It was in his quarters. So whoever runs the place in now, the tower. Yeah, whoever runs the place now probably has it. And maybe his former apprentice in the southeast tower has it, or has and, one. And uh, we should probably, you know, dress these guys up a little bit, just to change a little bit of their features, so that they're not as easily recognizable. Jerrica will pull out her disguise kit. Okay. Okay. So you start. Everybody. Hey, that's a good everybody time. Everybody okay with? Getting a little makeup. It's a good time for a description of the party. Go ahead, uh, Dan. Oh boy, uh, Daniel Garzoni is uh, back like he never left. Uh, he's only leveled up a little bit. He took some uh, pretty cool infernal crocodile uh, hide armor, but uh, it's just going to be in his normal kind of cloak appearance. Uh, he's still an inquisitive rogue boy. Go ahead, Glory. Glory is a um, paladin seeking to uh, right wrongs and uh, especially smite the undead that uh, were responsible for the death of his uh, brother. 
Hori Tintin named Sorrow. And he's also got uh, the Paladin's Aura 10 feet, and if you're in that aura, you cannot be charmed, and you get plus 4 to saving throws. Ooh. Hard, go ahead. Hard is a gruff dwarf. Uh, most notably, his hands are absent, and in their place are red ironed fashioned uh, claws that resemble the claws of a number hulk uh, I said he's gruff and uh, known to uh, throw himself into battle a bit wildly uh, he also has a penchant for digging when necessary oh and he knows stuff about the underdark Jerica so usually Jerrica has uh, the bubblegum pink hair, flies on a bridge of rainbows, and has her unicorn jumping around uh, with wings, uh, known as Synergy, that uh, helps her out on her adventures, solving mysteries. But uh, today she is dressed as a, a drow maiden with uh, uh, veils over her head and a traditional drow garb for uh, adventuring in Avernus. Then In we, a bad case of psoriasis. Then we have Leo. Leo is a half-elf bard. Um, been getting some good material down here for uh, some ballads and uh, limericks and what else have you. Um, only other couple things I got is uh, I guess I'll go ahead and use my disguise kit and my studded armor to kind of fit with Erica's I mean Jerica's uh style. Okay, like another drow. Yeah. Okay. Next to go is Gath. Uh, Gath is uh gruff and uh armored well not armored up but very well protected. Uh he's looking out for the party. Uh he vows to uh, basically uh, protect the innocent because he lost his uh, brother Raistlin and uh, that's uh, pretty much it okay um, hard your memories are kind of joggled a little bit by the discussions that you have with uh, Respin and your knowledge of the Underdark so you know a little bit more about Plague Shield Point, how it was named such because it was where a band of plague-stricken drow gathered after being exiled from Enzo Berenzan for their illness. A wizard, Respin Shadow Swimmer, discovered a cure. The drow he cured uh, came from the city and settled in Plague Shield Point and made it a marvelous fortress. So it was mostly male drow there, um, plague-stricken and exiled from Enzo Berenzan. That was Plague Shield Point before it was pulled down into Avernus. <clears throat> okay. Interesting. Okay, so um, you have the Bolo Commanding Water Elementals. It will require, um, I believe, let me double check. <laughs> Might not require attunement. Let me verify. No attunement on those. Yep, you are good. Okay. So you can uh, summon the water elemental. Um, by dipping the bowl into the river Styx and then using and spending an action to conjure elemental with it. The stinking water in the bowl roils and expands into a large water elemental made of the same polluted foulness that churns in the river beyond. The creature bulges and distorts until it is shaped like an immense bubble, enough to carry all of you safely within its distended form. It has no eyes, but you feel it gazing at you expectantly. So, do you want casting spells before you step in and get transported through the river sticks? Okay. Anyone got water breathing? That's that it. might be useful here before we water breathing get into the water we're done for or aid or anything like that no 
Um, we're not that type of party. Uh, no. No spells here. I do have aid. I'm undecided whether to use it for aid for or smite, but I think I'll, I'll go ahead and use it for aid. Who do you want to do that on? Let's see. Myself. Um, who else is hard? Definitely. Gath. So I fixed glory already. Hard. You're gonna get five more. So you're gonna get ninety nine. And Gath, you're gonna get five more. I'll make you at seventy six. Okay, got it done. You step into the elemental and start descending into the river Styx. I want to play the music that's in Star Wars uh, Episode One when they're going through the underworld water channels. It's like that. Immense, strange, monstrous creatures come and go to the edge of your sight, the dark waters. Just as long as there's no Jar Jar. <laughs> After minutes, maybe ten more or more minutes of descent, you can finally see a massive stalagmite in the hazy water ahead of you. Uh, your best person in the Underdark has a sight of twenty. A plus 12, I believe, and that's probably uh, Leo. Anyone beat a plus 12 on perception? Plus 8. Okay, Leo. I've got a, I've got a 15. Oh, plus 12 on perception? Yeah, he's like, you're plus oh, 9, fuck. Max. I mean. <laughs> yeah. Actually, no. let me double check. Yeah. Let me double check, make sure Leo still has that. Yeah, no, I, I, uh, I got rid of those. Actually, oh, the eyes of the eagle are gone. Okay, then the Hard is your guy. Hard's going to be plus nine, I believe. So, Hard, I need you to make a perception check with advantage from the help of the other party members watching. I don't think the plus nine is built in. I think it's normally just a plus four. Or, or it'll say. Plus it'll five, say. Right? It'll say in there. Just click it and right. it'll roll for you. Oh, from <clears throat> under dark. Oh, yep. Okay, wow. It don't matter. 28. Hold on, hold on just a second. Some ass beating's going on. Oh. They're not coming over here. If it comes up, I did take polymorph. <gasps> yes. So... I'm we can transform you into a unicorn, Rob, and then you can have your mini unicorn <laughs> back. Okay, um, hard. In the hazy water ahead of you, you can see a couple entrances into the stalagmite. There is the um, the front entrance. I'm going to show you on the map that you saw. So you're coming right for this colonnade here, but you can make out the entrance in the back to the left. You can also see a small crack, not on any map on the side of the slagmite, near the base of the slagmite over here. So you got three ways you can enter. Let me know which way you want to direct the elemental toward. I think we should head towards the crack, y'all. I mean, worst okay. case, I can dig through any stone we find there. Okay. Then we I'm don't gonna... want to go through the main entrance and announce ourselves? Because that, that always sounds works. like fun, but I, I wanted up. to explore the crack. The elemental veer is to the left. Um, it speeds you toward the tiny crevasse in the wall of the slagmite and bursts through a shimmering barrier surrounding the fortress's exterior. Within it is entirely dry. The magical field seems to keep the water at bay, including your water elemental, who crashes and bursts upon the barrier, flying you into the ravine. All right, so you are now in a ravine. So I have put you over here. I'm going to grab your minis. I'll do that so you don't have to worry about it. I can drag them. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Okay. So this is the, the little crack that the elemental or uh, hard saw on the edge of the stalagmite. And um, this part of the fissure is so filled with the... Um, obstructive debris that you must clamber over it one by one. As you start climbing, um, you see that there's two paths you can take. You can continue in this fissure to the west, it continues to the west, or you can climb out to a actual uh, worked hallway up above you. It's about 30 feet over your head. Um, but before you make that choice, you come upon a individual drow. So 
So down here in this crevice, hiding away underneath the various debris and such, is a single drow huddled against a chain. There's this huge chain, lengths of it, which extend in, along the crevasse. It looks like part of the chain that probably pulled the stalagmite down into Avernus. Um, she so matches the description of Eskelia, Eskelica Breath that you got from Respin. And that's the female. Uh, that is the female. Um, she is exhausted, looks like almost delirious, um, and when she sees you, she instinctively hisses and lashes out in undercommon, says, prove yourself. The devil of chains in the south tower, kill him. Then kill the devil of bones, kill him forever, kill them all. Uh Jerica, if she has a chance, will drop her probably horrible uh, depiction of this one. <laughs> and uh, will attempt to ask her in, uh, see if she answers back in common, and just say, you know, excuse me, are, are you the one that uh, uh, was the beloved of, insert the apprentice's name that Rob cannot remember here? Thorn. Uh, she spits at that and says he was weak. He had no chance with me. Oh shit! As as it is in 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 drow society, yes. So what what can you tell us of this? We just need to defeat the master of chains, and you will you will aid us on our quest. Yes, kill him, kill all of them. You can see she is will... so exhausted. She's got like basically four levels of exhaustion right now. She's not going to be much of a help. And that will set you free? Um, I don't know if I'll ever get free of this place, but I want them dead. What else can you tell us about this place? Uh, she points to the west, and you can see that there is, as is above you, a hallway going north and south up above your heads. There is a larger chamber to the west through a wall that the crevice goes through. And she says, there is the yard where they torture us, the devils. Um, that's all we know. That's all we've seen. They keep us alive as long as they can before they kill us. When do they normally come for you? Uh, at all random times and hours. That's how I would do it. Not a bad idea. So you got a hallway to the north, hallway to the south, crevice to the west. Hallway south? Okay. Hallway to the south ends in a set of uh, iron doors. Um, would your hey, and uh, hard would your Dorvan stone crafting ability would that could he use his Dorvan intuition to see yeah, what would be I'll the best way him. for us? I'll okay. tell him if there's anything that he knows from that. Okay, so hard, you come to a set of iron doors. There's no lock on them, although they look very very heavy. What do y'all want to investigate this, or shall we just go right in? Sure, I'll investigate it. Okay, make an investigation check or perception, whichever you want. Uh, I'll go perception. The doors are not trapped in any way that you can see. However, they are very heavy looking, and their hinges don't look like they're in any way greased. They're going to make a horrific noise when you open them. Does any, any of us have grease so we could grease it up? Yeah, come over here. I might have silence. I I have silence if you want to let me do it, but I don't have any grease. Next time we go to town, I'm buying grease. Probably never need it again. But... Yep. <laughs> That's the one and only time. Silence. I don't think there's any of that. 
That's cool. a great so you idea, drop though. in silence? Yeah, okay, silence. Oh, Alright, let's do it. Then I'll open the door. With uh, Hard's assistance, or I can assist Hard. Yeah, Hard looks down at his claws. <laughs> and you're probably going to be better off opening the door than me. Could give Hard a, uh, a crowbar. I didn't see silence in either one of your guys' oh, spell lists. Yeah, sorry. I, I just I just looked. I was, yeah, I did take it off for detect magic. Sorry, no silence for me. You're right. I didn't take it. <laughs> well, it was a good That's idea. Why I was so happy that. Um... Oh, also, when you get up to the level of the uh, hallway, you can see to the north. The place is dark. Um, so um, you'll have to provide light. Some of you can see in the darkness, though, so I'll show you what you see. But remember, your perception checks will be pretty bad unless you have light, even if you can see in the dark. I will take that minus five. So there we go. What's to the north? A flight of stairs ascends. You see large tiles in the walls with murals painted on them, but you can't quite make out what that is to the north. And to the south, the iron doors. So... You can't make them quiet yet. What do you want to do? Well, let's, right, go, let's north. go north then. <laughs> north, okay. Coming up the flight of stairs, you can see the murals. They show. Do we want to pop some light, guys, before we keep going? Yeah, put it on my shield. Would be great. Yeah, Hard's got a a coin that's got continual light cast on it. That he can pull okay. out. Okay. So, a uh, grand mural depicting the history of Plague Shield Point has been painted upon seven ten-foot-tall stone tiles inserted into grooves along the northeastern wall of this antechamber. Uh, there's a grand staircase that leads up to the upper level to your uh, to your west. I'm going to show you what those tiles show you. So if you look over to the right, I'm putting the tiles out there. These are actual murals that, you know, not picture, words. not words, picture what the words are showing. So the the one that's the farthest away from you when you first come up oh, shows a wizard guiding a group of sickly drow to a massive stalagmite, which is surrounded by tall mushrooms. The next one, a crudely drawn... Scene. Does that look like River, the river guy? Uh, uh, let's see here. Rispin. <laughs> uh, let's see here. <laughs> it could be Rispin. Maybe a younger okay. version of him, though. Yeah. Yeah, it says it in like the second to last one. Yeah. The the wizard looks like Respin Shadow Swimmer if he were much younger. Yeah. So these tiles are ten feet tall stones. They're pretty thin. Very thin, so they only weigh fifty pounds each. And they are inserted into grooves in the wall of the antechamber. So y'all reckon we need to put these in order? Yeah. Chronological, yeah. Um, let me see. Let me give you guys control of them. I'll start with the one on the top. So you can drag them around if you want to. And top is the first one on the left, like reading. Correct. Order. Yep. Okay. Uh... Okay, you should. I hope you'll drag them all around. And Ashley, let me uh, do something here. Let me. There's, there's a couple that can't move. Okay, let me uh, do this real quick. Copy that. Paste there. Oh no, no. Shoot. 
I love it when I paste stuff off the screen. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> and then, like, it's gone. Like, it's not actually there. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to get back. Okay, so I made a second set that you can drag around. Leave the first set alone. Don't move them around. Just so, so we know what they were before you start moving them. Three. Probably, we can't move it, but the first one's probably the group of exiles leaves the city of Mesrup Israel, right? Mm -hmm. So, the from the bottom, the second, third, and fourth ones were unable to move, or at least I'm not. Got it, got it. Same. I'm fixing them now. Uh, you can move the middle one now, but... Second and third. And they're good. He's probably doing it. It takes a second to... Gotcha. It's not a quick... Yeah. I think you can move them on now. So remember, just move the right ones. So you guys think this one's up here? Mm-hmm. And then Isn't probably... the stalagmite getting carved first? No. Because yeah, I think he, I think he led the sick out, and then he's gonna get them, like lead them to the mushroom. Where was it? The wizard guides a group of sickly drow to a massive stalagmite. Well, yeah, yeah you're right. The, something's got it. Well, the stalagmite's got to be carved before he leads them to the stalagmite, right? Mm, not if they're sickly. No, it's surrounded by tall mushrooms. Then they carve the stalagmite. Yeah. Except I've got an eight okay. intelligence, so I wouldn't know that. You're fine. <laughs> you just happen to know this one bedtime story. You're one of the uh, <laughs> smartest people in the party with a intelligence in D and D. That's pretty common. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got Fifth edition, oh, everyone hard, seems hard. to have about an eighty IQ. Hard's got a twelve, man. Oh he's, wow, he's That's no pretty dummy. Good. Especially for. Uh, never mind. No comments. A group of healthy drow build the home. No, I think he's gonna cure him first. Like uh, the drow right. wizard, wizards tur turns a bundle, but him yeah. switch. That's I think that right he's gonna the make the potion one. first, right? Yeah. Yeah. But then this is a wait. A sickly envoy from Miser Miser arrives and supplicates himself before. God, that might be the first one. It's got to be before. No. He leads. No, 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 no. I think he. The, someone's going to come to the wizard and then he's going to go to yes. Mr. Bizrian and lead them out. I think that's yes. got to be first. That's first. Here, I'll, I'll, I'll move it here and see if you guys agree. And then a group of healthy drought build the home into a massive slag bite. Mail it in first. Hmm. But then they're still talking about for sickly drow. I don't know. I think that's right. I don't know where the... I haven't looked at the last one. See, it's interesting. Well, okay, here's the problem, though. I mean... Uh, yeah. The group of healthy drow that come from a city, including soldiers and priestesses, and begin carving on a fortress within a slagline. So... I think Jericho would say you have to set up the scene before you get to the second act where everything goes wrong. And so all the boils and stuff have to come second. And then uh, you have to first set up the uh, the group that leaves the city and then sets up the base. So you're thinking, like, this is first here. Yeah. And then a group of healthy drow build their home into a massive slagmite. And so, okay, so then, well, like that. So I think those are the first two. And then you've got the an envoy that comes in. And then, uh, let's see, the drow turns. So he turns this one, and he fixes them. And then they're brought to the one guy. And then, uh, let's see. And I'm, uh, I'm just, for you guys' reference, reposting what uh, Hard knows from his Underdark stuff. So, Plague Shield Point was named. So, a, a band of sick people gathered after being exiled for their illness. Oh, okay. A wizard discover a cure... The drow he cured come from the city and settle on Plague Shield Point. 
Uh, I think it does. Uh, I do think that it's going to be the sick people first. Yeah, I think we need to know about the sick people before the healthy drow build a living quarter for sick people. Because it's like they're building it for other sick people, right? Like he didn't cure everyone, but they're making it like a place that they can now bring all sick drow from. To the, 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 all of the sick drow too. That doesn't work. No. I think the healthy drow need to be like a few blocks up from that one. Whoa, whoa okay. Hold, hold, hold on. No. Got stuff on top of each other. And <laughs> oh, no. Too many, too many cooks, I think. Yeah, why don't you guys have like uh, maybe tell tell one of you to do it? Like tell hard what order to put them in, and hard you just do the moving. Okay. So we think that the group Lee. Okay, so in the in the text that we know, the first thing that happens was a band of plague stricken drow leaving. Mesoberazan. Right. So I think that's got to be the. I think the first one's in the right place. What's interesting is that this is not the wizard guides a group of I mean sure maybe a dry wizard turns a bundle into a, he heals them a group of healthy it still feels like this one where do I mean this one here that's on the the middle two down feels like it needs to go in the middle like in between one of these over here thoughts well, that's got to be at, before led from Mesoberanzen, right? Unless it's two different groups. That's the, like, because what I'm yeah, thinking yeah, the, is the maybe. Wiz, let me tell you the descriptions of the wizard. So a group of exiles leaves the city of Mesoberanzen led by a wizard and his apprentice. That wizard, the, the one in the, you have in the top one, looks like Respin. A wizard guides a group of sickly drow to a massive stalagmite. That does not look like Respin. A drow whispered turns a bundle of lawn stock mushrooms into a potion. That does look like Respin. So this one is not Respin. Not Respin, yeah. Um, a group of healthy drow uh -huh. come from a city, including soldiers and priestesses. None of those look like Respin. A sickly envoy from Menzo Bears and arrives doesn't look like Respin. A group of healthy drow build their home into a massive slagmite and make living quarters for sickly drow. Uh, there might be one that looks like Respin in there. And the uh, the apprentice with a crudely drawn scene depicting a bone devil gripping a wizard's apprentice. That's the same character as in the first tile where you see Respin and his apprentice. So it's probably Respin's apprentice. So, so far, so there's two wizards and one apprentice. Mm -hmm. Now the groups of drow, do they, are they in just like indistinct? Like so you got the group of exile, you can't, not necessarily except for how yeah. they're described in the tiles. Whether they're sickly or healthy. Mm -hmm. gotcha. Yeah. So that's your being A wizard discovered a cure. The drow he cured came from the city and oh. saw the plague show. What if the first wizard, uh, the one that's not Respin, is the original group that was like exiled from the city, and then Respin finds a cure and starts helping him out, and then the healthy ones in the uh, the stalag might make room for more sick people that um actually you know from your history hard knows that respin yeah. was with the first group gotcha he was one of the exiled yeah drow. yeah that was my my okay. idea and then hard corrected me so i think we do the respin stuff the basic drow stuff and then the the the, the yeah. finale is this dude the getting his heart ripped out like the second wizard, the one that's throwing me off is the second wizard. Like, well, where I does think he the necessarily come in. I think the mushrooms should go before the guy that uses the mushrooms. So I that, think that that order does not work that you have there. And Kirk, you're saying that one should go ahead of number two. Yes. Because uh, that I, that one they find mushrooms, and number two they use mushrooms to create a cure. Right. Where, where was the one they found? I'm not seeing it. So the last second one from the end, they find mushrooms. Yeah. That doesn't work. <laughs> so the, the wizard guide that, that uh, is not Respin. Hold on. I don't think that works, but let me double check. Uh, a group of healthy drag come from a city.
that doesn't work. Okay, just confirming on this one on the right side. This guy looks like Respin. The Let's guy in the second one looks like Respin. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go down from the top. So a group of exiles leaves the city, including Respin and his apprentice. So that is Respin, the very first one. A wizard guides a group of sickly drought to a massive stalagmite. That looks, like, that, looks like, that looks like Respin, which is surrounded by tall mushrooms. A wizard turns a bundle of long stalked mushrooms, could be Respin, into a potion and gives it to Drow with skin covered boils. And then the next one is a group of healthy drow come from a city, including soldiers and priests, and begin carving out a fortress within a stalagmite. Um, that way. That doesn't look like respite at all. A sickly envoy from Mesra Barons and arrives, was, arrives and suffocates himself before Drow Wizard. That's Respin. Oh, that is Respin. Yeah. So the envoy's not, we need but he's suffocating himself before Respin. I think we got to put that fifth one up no, I think, over I think that's to, right there. Uh, I just switched those two around. Two. Is that right? Uh, no, that's not right. That, that hard to do all the moving. So, uh, let's see. A group of healthy drow we... come from a city. Ba, 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 ba. Okay. Respin's not in that group at all. A sickly envoy from Menzo Bears and arrives and suffocates himself before Respin. Yes. A group of healthy drow build their home into a mass stalagmite and make living quarters for sickly drow. Okay, so maybe the sickly drow actually goes first. So the sickly drow comes and supplicates himself, and so Respin decides he's going to help them. So then Respin goes to Menzo and leads them out. Does that make sense, y'all? Go ahead and put it in the order. It doesn't hurt to put them in order that you think it's going to be. We're not taking like 40, 10 damage You're every time You're not taking damage every time you get it wrong now. <laughs> Um, so there's a sick drow from Menzo Barazan supplicating himself before Respin. Right. So that doesn't work. Here's what you know. Respin was exiled. That's the first thing that happened. Yeah. I'm, I'm I think the. I think we had the first few right. I think your eye has. Oh. It's this one right here, the one that's in the middle that we don't know. That's the one that we have no information about because we know it starts out with Respin leaving and then healing. The drought right? wizard turns then, bundle. So yes. The, the so he first gets three have to be right. So he gets a cure. And then there's a sickly envoy that arrives and asks for help from him. There's a group of healthy drow that come from Menzo Bear's Inn. So you can determine what order those two should be in. So yeah, I think... There's a group of healthy at... drow, which aren't the drow from Menzo Bear's Inn, that build a home in a slagmite and make living quarters for sickly drow. So the second from the end and the third from the end, what order would those be in? Oh. Uh, Shane, move this one... To there. And that's it. That worked. I'm pretty sure. Okay, yeah, they build the fortress into a carve out a mighty fortress at the end, but then the last thing is the bone devil grips the wizard's apprentice by the chest and transforms him into a devil wrapped in chains. So when you do that, a door opens up, flares with the light, and opens a secret chamber. Which is right back here. Does anyone have information on the, the, the can maybe because remember we're here to hopefully save this guy and if he's unsavable kill him. Does anyone recognize what that demon is doing to the apprentice from that picture? I, I don't think hardwood. So a crudely drawn scene depicts a bone devil gripping the wizard's apprentice by the chest and transforming him into a devil. So it appears to show him being transformed into a devil. Okay. And if that's true, he's probably not savable. Cool. The room, oh, that's unfortunate. The room where the star is, is the star is where the secret door is on the wall between these two rooms. The room that you find is um, filled with bookshelves containing countless scrolls. 
there's a mural on the uh, on like the northern part of the east wall which has five figures four of them look to be drow covered in sinister armor from head to foot adorned with spiderweb motifs the um, the fifth figure is larger than the drow significantly and looks to be some sort of cat slash humanoid with white fur and you recognize that uh, hard as a quagoth which is a uh, creature of the underdark that the drow usually enslave and use either as pack animals or guards or such so this mural is um, on the wall basically here and you can see all the bookshelves up over here, filled with countless scrolls. Let's see what we see, y'all. Want to go in and search? Yeah, I'm down. Okay. Put your lead character when you get to where you can see, you know, just into the western wing of the room there. And wherever else we want to be when that happens. Come on, Gath, I need you. All right. As you move forward, the figures in the mural to your right step out of the wall and transform into very real individuals. There's the huge Quagoth. Oh, hello. The two I drow. I think that's normal. And the two drow. And uh, they immediately attack. So roll initiative, everyone. Ooh. Not broken today. I think I'm missing Gath. Have you rolled already, Gath? Yeah, in my mind I did. But yeah. I'll go ahead and click for you there. Nice, awesome. So there's two, the drow are covered in head to toe in armor. Uh, so it's difficult to tell um, gender on the drow, but you think there might be two females and two males. And you know the females are normally the more skilled and commanding of the drow. And the quagoth, you believe, is a huge specimen of its species. And now that you can see it in the flesh, so to speak, it has no hair. Instead, it's just made out of stone completely, textured to look as if it has hair. So this Quagoth is just a simply walking stone statue. The drow, oh, you can't shit. even see their faces or anything. They're just head to toe armor with spider motifs and such. So you don't know what you're dealing with exactly. Dan, you're first to react. They are attacking. Uh, yeah, I'm going to insightful fighting the back right one. Okay. It's going to make a deception yeah. check, right? Yep. DC 20. Got 11. You got it. Yay. So cool. And uh, she can take a face full of Julia for a big 12. That just glances off her armor. Ah. That'll be it. After Dan, the first of those drow act. This one comes to... Uh, let's see here. It will... Step to there, multi tacking on hard with a long sword. 23 hard. For 10, yeah, 10 slashing. Yeah, and then miss. And then provoking from you hard. Uh, well, let's take a, take a poke and see what happens. Where is it? Ooh, nice shot. Oh. 12 points of magical slashing to the creature. After its turn, it moves to there. Uh, hard, your turn. Woof. Alright. Looking, if I go there and there, that's going to provoke my cat to that. We have more than two melee, right? Your melee glory. 
Glory's melee. One yeah. in this thing. Yeah, Glory's melee. Gath's melee. Right. Uh, I'd like to get up there. Hard. Hard will move up here. Sure, he will. You know, he's just going to try new things. Uh, this drow in front. Uh, 16, 4, 12. That glances off the armor. It is uh, very hard. Not like normal drow armor. Almost like hard. steel. Right. I know. Can I use my can I use my uh, my digging speed to injure him instead? <laughs> uh, let's see. Well, that's not gonna do anything. And then I believe I'm pretty sure I took uh, the thing that lets me dual wield these now, and so I'll try a third time. Oh, 22 for nine. Uh, 22 connects. After hard, the stone quagoth goes next. Um, it's just gonna feel good. Mm-hmm. Are the melee, or sorry, are the back draws also in the full steel, or? Yeah, they are is... head to toe armor. Yeah. Okay. Head so to toe armor. Glancing up. different than hard's glancing. Sagan. Was my twelve a like that glance? Was that different than the sixteen glance? Or is that flavor? Same. They both okay. missed. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see. What this guy's yours doing. missed harder. Yeah, yours uh, missed by a lot more. <laughs> I didn't want to. I didn't want to hurt your feelings, though. So I didn't say it like that. No, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, let's see here. Da, 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 da. Okay, ten feet. Ten feet. Okay, the stone statue comes to here, and Hard and Gath and Leo and Dan. Oh, oh shit! It like spits out of its mouth this rain of spider webs all over all you guys mm. and uh, it's a 17 wisdom save interestingly oh, nice. what Where your speed will be oh half. it's a slow you'll have no reactions oh, one attack per turn action or bonus but not both for a minute we are uh, uh, it doesn't help me but does glory have an aura glory is yeah. helping everyone but hard it's a hard life for yeah, hard plus uh, four to those guys so 17, we got a plus four. 17 wisdom save. Gath made um, it. Dan failed it. Hard's going to use his inspiration. Leo failed it. Hard made it. Boom. So Dan and Leo are both slowed by the spider web. So I'm going to use a uh, spider web symbol for you guys. You get to repeat your save at the end of your turn. And again, that's going to be speed is half, no reactions, one attack per turn, and action or a bonus, but not both. It lasts for a minute if you don't save. It okay. is done. Glory, your turn. Actually, on a recharge, jeez. Uh, yeah, it's done. Does my ring of free action negate any of that? Uh, Leo, it might might very well do that. Let's double check. Difficult train, no cost extra, magic, no reduced speed, paralyze, or restrain. So you're not slowed. Your movement rate's not, not reduced. You still would only get one action, though. Right. Hey, I'm coming up to uh, smack it with the long sword. Yeah, we need it's to focus big on this big thing, y'all. Ten's a miss. It's a big miss, and then that's a big hit, that I is. think. I it smite is. it. Okay. Um, let's go for a level two smite here. Okay. My button for smiting. Sorry. And smite. Here we go. Level two. Ooh, nice that, roll. Damn. That's a fat roll. 33 points of magical slashing and radiant damage to the thing. Um, this needs to take a chunk. It all hurts it. Damn it. That's not a big enough chunk. And glory's done. Next drow's turn. This one right by hard. Multi attacking you hard with his long sword. 19's a miss. 18's a miss. Moving to there, provoking from you hard. Uh. Uh, two, three, four, five, done. Gath, your turn. Do you want me to scoot up or keep it blocked? 
Let, let's keep it blocked. It went. Okay. Yeah, we'll keep it blocked. I mean, I don't mind letting them head on me up here. I mean, um, I'll rage, and if you want to hurt it hard enough that it only goes after you, that'd be good. Yeah, but I'm not <laughs> that. I'm not that type of barbarian. Um. Uh, yeah. Uh. It's a miss. Never mind. <laughs> when you're raging, Gath, you would grant advantage. We, the rest of us, get advantage. No, I'm not a wolf. I'm a bear. I'm a. I'm okay. a wolf. I'm a wolf on our uh, twenty. His per other other bar. You're playing three bar. I know it right now. <laughs> you're confusing <laughs> me, man. Twenty for twelve on the. That's it. I'm done. And is you your is your axe magical? Out. No. Okay. Um. Damn. Seems to glance off of it and do zero damage to it. Okay, oh, good. fuck. Oh. Okay, done. Leo, your turn. Can anyone make his ass magic? His ass, ass magic. magic. <laughs> I've, got, I've got a magic ass. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. It's a Freudian flip. I might can do that, but not his axe. Uh, can I... Can I just yeah, bring that on down? Right there? Yeah, you can you can do it there. You can scoot it down and get another one. Uh would I be able to get all five of them? No, but you'd get one more. And no penalty. Mean? Just remember, fairy fire is a cube, not the radius that you got out oh, there. Yeah, yeah. You doing fairy fire? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Uh, uh give me your hit your button. And that means do it. 15 deck saves. Okay, here we go. Deck saves. One, two, three. Uh, I made a stone. How dexterous can they be? One failed. This one over here failed and is very fired. And then this guy. Failed. Deck save. Damn it. He made it. But you got that northeast one very fired. Oh, and he's got advantage on spells. Concentration mark on you, Leo. Then save against the slowed webs. DC 15. All right. I'm gonna or 17. Up, wisdom. Then. Still slowed for Leo. Jerrica, your turn. All right. Uh, how are you with uh, uh, angled squares? Um, I don't use them, so just do it regular regular squares. All right. Well, then I guess I will just get the same four. Same four, okay. As I hit them with a hypnotic pattern so that they can start the dance party. You might not be able to do that either. How big is a hypnotic pattern? 30-foot cube? Yeah, you but I don't have to see the center. You have to have line of effect to the center, I think, even if you don't have to see it. So you have to put the center, so you can get the other other three, other four. Yeah. The one not. You put it over yonder. Yeah, so you get the other four, not the one fairy fired currently. Okay. DC 20 wisdom saved in the gate on these yeah. guys. We've got four of those Holy guys. shit, how's your wisdom one, two, save so high? One, two, three. Uh, all three four rod. hypnotized. I will say that those ones are in the dance party. Don't worry about them till after you kill that one that's a fairy fired. Surprisingly, then, the three uh, on the synergy. west, even though they fail, they aren't affected by it. Oh. And neither is the statue. They're all immune to tar all immune to charm. It turns out. They're all constructs. So even if you had a magic ass, it wouldn't help. Yeah, Stop. They're all immune to your charms. <laughs> they're immune to charms. <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, it was a good thought. It was a good yeah, thought. Yeah, it's going to be good. Sure, okay. Anything else? Nice. Okay. Uh, drow turn. Oh, Synergy. Sorry. Go ahead. Synergy will come in and will fart on uh, that guy. Okay. The statue. Uh, what's that do? Eared. There it is. Wisdom save. Boom, 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 boom. Got it. Yes. Uh, and it's got to no action or bonus action and use all move in a random direction on this turn. Okay. Drow's turn. This one closes on hard. That is... Longsword. Longsword. Both miss. Close. Uh, backs away to there. Then this drow closes on hard. Longsword. Longsword. Both miss. Backs away to there. Done. That's the end of that round. And Dan, your turn. You are slow, right. remember? Yes, I am. Uh, I will take my 
one shot at the advantage lady in the back. A 16. That misses. Saving through a DC 17 to get out of it. Uh, plus four is You 17. made it. Yeah, you're out. Take that spider web off. You had Drow's turn. Gladly. This one over here is going to go one, two, three, four, five. Attack hard. Long sword, long sword. Miss, miss. Six. Done. Hard. Your turn. Well. Now we know to save the opportunity attack so they can't cycle. All right, yeah, let's do this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and bonus action uh, stone face here. And then I will get two attacks on him, because that was my bonus. That's not going to do it. A uh, 17 That's hit. Oh, a 17 did hit? Yeah. Oh, the drow were in steel. I'm they sorry. were more, yeah. Um, this guy's eight. stone. Did, uh, did you um, hit Hunter's Mark him yet? I did. I did. did. I just okay, did so this eight. Trip. Anything else? One more? Uh, oh, no, no. Marked. I don't get right. the bonus, marked. yeah. Okay. Uh, it's turn. See if it recharges its uh, slowing power. No, it does not. So it's going to multi attack with a couple slams. Um, or move but... in a random direction. Or, yeah, or move in a random direction. Let me roll a d8. It's going to move four. So up is one. Diagonal. Two, three, so Dagnet is trying to move through you guys, but you block it. So it's done. Uh, Glory, your turn. Oh, it gets to save at the end of his turn, or no? Nope, it's got to roll a five or a six. Oh, gotcha. Mac it once. It's a 17 hit. Yeah. Okay, one smite, level one. Okay. 11 and 8, 19 damage. Done. After glory. Oh, we got more. I still Take get another one. attack there. Now get up at E, Tom. <laughs> I'll try not to. <laughs> <laughs> Give me another shot. Uh, you going to smite? That's a nice hit. That's a nice hit. I'm going to stay with it. 14, okay. Uh, Drow's turn. This one's up here. He's going to go one, two, three. Oops. Four. Attack hard. Multi attack. Long sword. And long sword. Both miss. Uh, he's done. Gath, your turn. Oh, shit. He left. Uh... <clears throat> now, Tom, can I go to there and shove him and go forward? Uh, no. Okay. And I can't shove him that direction because that guy's there. Um, I'll throw a javelin at this broad. Okay, drop your axe and throw a javelin. Yep. Okay, fire away. Ooh, nice hit. Only 13. I don't think the rage works on the javelin throw. 13 the points. Uh, it's going to do 6 to it because it's mad, not magical. Got it. After Gat. Oh, you can throw another one if you want, Gath. The... Uh, and you did it at the drow, correct? I did. Okay. I clicked it. Come on. There we go. 23. 20. Nice. Hit again. Yeah. For one. A strong one, though. All right, after Gath, Leo. Uh, I suppose I will just uh, shoot my crossbow at the fairy fired one. 21 does not hit with cover. Wow. And then save, Leo. <laughs> Still slowed. So, uh, see, they, they must have that magic drow drow Jerica, plate. Jerica, uh, your turn. Uh, Jerica will fly up. I, I assume the roof is a little bit... Uh, uh, let me check. Yeah. I think it's 20 feet. Let me double check. Yep, I'll just fly up to get out of cover. Okay. We'll tag our friend here. Yep, 20 feet in this room. All right. Uh, the 25 hit, 24 hit for force damage, 20. Well, let me see. You might change your target after the first thing does zone, no damage to her. Seems to be immune to force. You want to change it to the statue of the Quagoth after that? Damn. Oh. 
Oh, that's who I was. Oh, they're both targeting. on the Quagath? Okay. So then you hit both times for 21 points of damage. It is not immune to force damage. Yep. And then. And then Synergy will fly in having recharged and will breathe on this one. Uh, okay. Let's see. That's a wisdom save, I think. 11. I clicked it, but, you know, my internet sucks. I think 11 is your DC. Um, yeah, made it. Uh, roll one more time on that, and let's see what the Quagath is going to do on its turn. Yep. It will no move. The only thing it can do is make a save. Okay. Um, Jerk is done. Drow's turn. Fairy Fire Drow. Hmm. This thing flies into the air over the head of, um, let's see, to front. There, there, over Hard's head, over Gath's head, uh, further down, provoking from Hard. And this thing is flying. Flying over your head, yeah. It's okay. It's She's entered the danger zone. <laughs> 15 is a miss and then lands there. And then we'll attack. Uh, who's got that concentration marker on? Leo. Attacks Leo. Multi attack with the longsword. 25 Leo for 11. Concentration yeah. check DC 10. And then 15 misses you with your nice new armor. Thankfully. Ah, you made the check, and she's done. Next row. Over there. Dun, 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 dun. She comes flying. One, two, three. Over his head and attacks hard. Long sword, long sword. Hitting you. No, Ooh. 21 misses. Stun. Rounds over. Dan, your turn. Ooh. Sure, for my action, I'll just give her a, a, a belly shot with Julia. 17 hit? It uh, does not. Then I'll give her another one. Eight. The 22 hit. Uh, yeah, 22 does hit. Okay, then let's get her with some big... Ooh, 25 magic piercing. Nice. Alright, after Dan, the next row. I'm gonna say, leave Leo alone, he's just a child. <laughs> the next row is just going to ready an attack. And then hard your turn. Uh, three in on the quagga. Fifteen miss, thirteen miss, twenty-four hit for sixteen points. Oh. Uh, quagga can't do anything except make a save, wisdom save, DC eleven, fails it. Then glory your turn. You take that, Mister Stone Gold. Sixteen missed. 17 apparently can you send this streaming to josh so he sees how to use a familiar <laughs> uh glory missed drow's turn this is the drow fighting on hard attacks hard with longsword twice missing both times then gath your turn i'll pick up my axe and hit this purple biatch to the south the drow to the south miss and miss. 23 18 hit. misses, right? 23. Oh, 23, that's hit. right. Yeah. For, for a strong eight. eight. Nice. Oh, that's four, because it's not a magic axe. Um, plus four. Okay. It's magic to me. I know. Uh, Leo, your turn. And. Uh, let me, uh, let me try a vicious mockery on the one right in front of me. Wisdom save. That's a success for eight psychic damage. It is not immune to psychic. Took eight, and we'll have disadvantage on the same stat. Okay, after Leo, uh, saving through Leo, DC 17 in the slow. You are out, finally. You can take the spider web off you. Uh, Jerrica, your turn. All right, two shots on the quake off. I 
clicked them. They're coming through. There they eventually. are. Slow motion Eldritch Blast. Both connect for 24 Ooh. points of force damage to the thing. Got it. A lot of force damage. Synergy's turn. I'm rolling for her to see her recharge. She does not recharge. So she's going to come. Uh, and uh, she's got nothing to do. She'll just keep watching in the hallway. Stay out of danger. Turn. Stay out of danger. Drow in the Jeez. hallway attack on Leo with disadvantage on the longsword attack. That's a 12 on Leo. Then the regular attack on Leo. That's 9. Both miss Leo. That Drow is done. Then the Drow to the north. Uh, flying over Hard's head. Attack on the longsword. Longsword. Both miss. And then rounds over Dan, your turn. I'm going to shoot the one next to me. A 26. Ooh, that's a hit. For a big... Oh, what? Jesus. No, oh. 13 damage. Oh. Got it. Okay. Uh, oh. well. uh, bonus I'll follow up. That 12's going to miss. It does. Okay. Dan's done. Drow's turn. I try the north swing. Just keep being readied. And then hard your turn. Uh, Quagoth. 24 missed. I mean, hit 10 missed, 12 missed, so 16 points of damage to the Quagoth. Next to go is Quagoth. Give me a random, uh, what happened to the Quagoth roll, please, from Synergy. So I pressed it like 30 seconds ago. Oh, no. If you'd just like to roll a d6, <laughs> you can. There it goes. Oh, there it is. There. Good timing on that. Uh, that is, uh, Wisdom Save. After doing nothing this round, it was save. Uh, still affected. Oh uh, it's done. Glory, your turn. Okay, take that. That connects. Oh, hit. Um, no smite. No smite. Nine points of damage. Still standing. One more. Fifteen missed. After glory, Drow's turn. Drow uh, on the ground by hard. He's going to take to the air. Um, to front. They all can fly? Yeah. Shake. I bet some of the more uh, I'm some prolific... I'm thinking I think some of the more prolific players know what they are already. Uh, he'll come to oh, there. Wherever they are, they're horrors. Everything. <laughs> Everything around uh. them. Everything around them is uh, heavily armored. So he'll keep going to there. Uh, and attack Dan. Long sword. You, you, you can keep going, Captain Flypants. <laughs> Long sword. Uh, both miss Dan. He's done. Gath, your turn. Okay, the one due south. Yeah, do purple paints. Uh, 15's miss. gonna miss. There's a 12 hit, Tom? It also misses. Okay. Leo, your turn. Do it. Uh, well, I guess let me just try to take this one out. Um, let's go with crossbow. Fifteen probably. Fifteen missed. Yep. Uh, Eighteen though. Don't think he's no, a crossbow no. expert. No, not. Oh, he's straight up. My bad. Uh, then let me inspire Dan. Okay, Dan, you got bardic inspiration going. You got the way, Dan. Leo's done. Jerrica, your turn. Two blasts. Uh, 15 misses. 20 hits for 9 points of force damage. Then Drow's turn. This On the quig off. Yep, got it. Drow's attacking Leo again. Uh, Ooh. Synergy oh, recharged. Okay. Alright, go ahead, Synergy. And Synergy comes up to fart on that one. That one was some save. Made it. Okay. And hopefully we'll see if they have uh, True Sight as she moves away. As she moves away, it strikes that Synergy with a longsword. They do have Blind Sight. 23 for 12 oh. on Synergy. Ooh, Synergy is going to be out in the hall for the rest of the time. <laughs> and then uh, attack on Leo. Longsword. Her farter got damaged. <laughs> yep. Um, nine's a miss on Leo. And second attack on Leo. 24 for 11, Leo. DC 10 mm. concentration check. That one's done. Then we got the one north of hard. Comes back down to the ground level, attacking hard with a longsword twice. Both misses, Thank and you. then that rounds over. And Dan, your turn. Finisher. Uh, 
that. Miss and uh, miss. Drive the north uh, takes. You, you, you've got inspiration, remember? I know. Like Bardic? I, I'm aware. Okay. This guy. Different, 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 different. He comes up to over Hard's head and over Glory's head. And then attacks uh, Glory twice. Long sword, long sword. Both misses. And then hard your turn. Well, uh, I'm gonna roll these one at a time on the quag. Fifteen. Though. Miss. Wait, five. Yeah. For eleven, finished them. All right, and I can't move that. Oh, time. Can't do. Uh, let's see. So these guys are here. I can move to here, provoking from all of them. All but one of them. All right. Oh, uh, one, okay. two, three. One hit for six. Six. DC ten concentration check with the uh, with the paladin aura. Okay, got that. And so the last claw will be on Captain Purple Pants. Twenty-two for twelve. Finished Captain okay. Purple Pants. I just want to give someone else the glory. Heart is done. Speaking of glory, your turn, Glory. Uh, oh, actually, hold on. One second. So I'm actually I'm gonna move to here. Okay. Right, that one over my head. I'm swinging for it. Okay. That, you horror. That's a hit. Uh, let's smite it. Wow. Level one. Uh, 19 points damage to it. Next shot. And one more shot. Ooh, nice. Ooh. Eleven, That's that. 11 more. After glory, we got the drow. Over Gath's head will attack Gath. Long sword, long sword. Twenty-four Gath for five. Okay. Um, Gath, your turn. Okay. Okay. There's one on right above me. Okay. Yep, right over your head. Uh, I, but I can hit that one too. Correct. That's injured, right? Correct. Okay. Uh, yeah. In theory. Twenty for eleven. Eleven does over five. five. To him. Okay. After Gath, Leo. All right. Could I? They're all flying, right? Two are. One's on the ground. Okay. Um, the two that are flying, could I hit just those with the uh, fairy fire? Uh, no. Because you couldn't center it far enough away. To not yeah, twenty foot it. ceiling. Yeah. It's all right. Oh, did you I say twenty foot these. ceiling? Yep. Yeah, yeah, I think you did. And yeah. it's a twenty foot cube. Right. So the center of it, you could. Yeah, you could hit the two that are flying. Go for it. All right. Let me do that. 15 deck saves. Here they go. One, two. Fail. Made it. So the one to over Glory's head is lit up. Nice. Concentration back to Leo. Jerica, your turn. Uh, he said to do two Eldritch Blasts. He's going to reboot. Two Eldritch Blasts. Okay. On the Fairy Fired one, I assume. Yeah. Likely. Boom, boom. Ooh. Ooh. First we got crit for 21. Oh, well, she does the first one, and it's immune to force damage. Ooh. So the second one doesn't really matter. There's nothing else to target. So she's done. Uh, after Jerrica, Drow's turn. Uh, which Drow's that? That's that one. It closes on Gath. Longsword, longsword. 25 for 10, Gath. Rounds over Dan, your turn. Are both the flying ones fairy fired? I only one. Say, like, only the one to the west. Okay. Well, he'll take a, a handful of. Uh, two, Ooh, that's 20, a crit. Nice. Four. Oh, thing. Uh, finish him. Yeah, that takes uh, care of that one. Nice. Thirty-one. And then I will bonus action. Uh, fire on the other flying one. Okay. That's a miss. Or a big eight. That's a miss. Stands done. Hard your turn. Uh, well, there. I, that, is that one got some damage on it? Uh, they're both real close to full. Okay, uh, I'll move uh, Hunter's Mark to that one. Uh, Twenty-seven for nine and a miss. Twenty-seven for nine. Then glory, your turn. 
As I uh, dodge aside from the tumbling one over my head, I'm going to attack the one over Beth's head. Bam, that's a miss. Bam, that's another miss. After Glory, Drow's turn. This one over Gath's head. Keep attacking Gath, longsword, longsword. Both miss, then Gath, your turn. Uh, first attack on the one above me. 22 Hit. for a strong five. Nice. Or two. Two, yep. And then I will try to knock him prone. The one over your head? Yeah. Uh, 11 dex or strength. 11 strength. Made it. Uh, don't I have advantage on that since I'm raging? Uh, you would, yeah. So, a creature with a natural fly speed, not prone. Hulk smash him. What is that under? Not miscellaneous. Unless it's got hover, it should fall. Fly prone, zero speed, no move, fall except hover. Magic, okay. All right, so it falls prone there. Uh-oh. I did my own furry fire. <laughs> <laughs> do you have one more attack? Oh, yes, I do. So I will do that. 17, 17 still misses. misses. Yeah. Leo, your turn. All right, let me... Uh... Viciously mock it, and then I'll I'll give a uh, glory and inspiration die. Uh, you got it on the vicious mockery for seven psychic, and glory you got. Glory's already got inspiration. You want to give someone else inspiration? Oh no, I'm in a bardic. Yeah, he's already got bardic. I thought. Oh no, no that was Dan. Just me. Oh, glory! I was saying Dan. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Got it. Okay. For Leo, Jerica. If your Jerica's not back, we are working on Toll the Dead. Okay. Oh, there he goes. You got it. 20 Wisdom saved in the gate, or else we're going to take some Necro damage. Wisdom saved in the gate. Failed it. And they are immune to Necrotic as well. Fuck. <laughs> Into turn, Drow's turn. Uh, the sky's attacking. Uh, you attack Glory. Longsword, Longsword. Both miss, and then rounds over. Dan, your turn. Okay, so how does prone work with uh, melee distance to crossbow expert? Uh, you're good. You have advantage. advantage. If you're in five feet, you'll have advantage. Okay. Then I will do that. A 26 for 21. Nice. And then a 21 for 5. Nice. Okay, after Dan, hard your turn. Uh, well. Oh, I can't help myself. Yeah, I can. I'll bonus action move Hunter's Mark over to this thing. No, I can't. I gotta come down here and provoke. Swing. Oh. Longsword. 24 for 6. <laughs> the only time I've been hit is when I've moved. <laughs> uh, let's see. Concentration for, uh... DC 10 in the aura for it you're good yeah. now uh, I'll move Hunter's Mark to the guy who's down and hit him hopefully a 24 for 11 and a 27 for 19 nice take him out yeah when you're attacking someone prone it doesn't matter if it's melee or not it's just how far away you are from him oh, okay so if I was 10 feet away trying to attack him you'd be disadvantaged right? yeah okay so it was 10 15 Okay, after hard glory. To finish okay, off. one last target. We'll go after him. 17 yep. is going to miss. I'd like to use my inspiration. Oh, go for it. My Bardic inspiration there. Leo, give him a help. No, not quite. Ugh. You're welcome. <laughs> Still, the thought that counts. <laughs> More. That's a hit. That'll hit. No smite. Smite. No smite. Okay, Gath, your turn. I'll come around to there and hit her 24 for 12. Nice. Six damage. Or six. Yep. And then I will cast Fairy Fire on her. <laughs> uh, got her. 
and a miss. All right. Got her damage. Next goes Leo. She's on her knees with her mouth open, Leo. <laughs> and then I'll spit in her mouth with a vicious mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, wrong one. Um, wisdom save. That's a fail. Then, uh, Jerrica, your turn. Toll the dead doesn't work. They're immune to necrotic. Uh, he probably didn't hear that the next that last time. Immune necro. Do you have anything else? I don't know that he does. Because they're force. Immune to force and necro. That's who else Jerrica has. Jerrica has... Press the digitation. Oh, Word of Radiance. Yeah. That might work. Ooh. But she'd have to get within five feet of it. And she has no armor. So she might not want to do that. Yeah, it's prone. What's it going to do? <laughs> Crit you on a... Uh... No one can hear me right. Correct. His uh, Discord says it's like constantly on, so it might be something like uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, it's like a connection error. Okay, uh, Jericho's testing. dodging, drowsed, yep, turn. Hear you. Testing, testing. Yeah, we hear you now. Testing received. Yeah, I got I got nothing unless I want to word of radiance and hurt everybody. End of turn. I think your word of radiance is it hurt everyone, or is it creatures it's you choose? choose? No, it's creatures I choose. You see and choose. Yeah, it's not worth it. It's not a lot though. <laughs> I wish get next to it. I wish Toll the Dead had been D8 damage and disadvantage if you're injured, because with two D12, everyone would much rather do Toll the Dead all the time. Um. Okay. Drow's getting up and this. Advantage on his first attack versus Gath. Longsword with disadvantage is a miss. Longsword regular is a miss. And Dan, your turn. Dan's going to do a tactical roll five feet over to the side and give a pew. Nice. Uh, and a pew for a, a, a big 22 and then tactical roll nice. backwards. There we go. 22 is hard. Very turn. tactical. Uh, move Hunter's Mark. Hunter's Mark, got it. Uh, looks like 10 and 16. Hit and hit, and dropped it. All right. Rah. Yeah, they were they were helmed horrors and a yeah. stone golem. Helmed horrors? That's that's a pretty awesome um, dragon breath. <laughs> Take the stone golem out the whole fight. Worked oh, yeah, well. that was amazing. <laughs> it made up for me doing nothing against the horrors. <laughs> yeah, they are immune to all your good stuff, that's for sure. One action would have sucked for everyone. Yeah, okay. Uh, so now you have some time to kind of look around. The uh, The room's filled with bookshelves containing countless scrolls. There are books on drow lore, centuries-old gossip about menzo barons and nobility, uh, other sordid trifles. Um, there may be something here of note if you have time to look and look and look. Really, no one knows you're here, so you probably have some time to look. Um, we'll close the secret door, the door. Get, the, yeah, get synergy yeah. in here yeah how long do you want to look through this library I can look through really fast for hours and like <laughs> yeah I say we take an hour you could definitely take an hour and be okay probably you just need to get this done today such that you can get out with your recharge water elemental tomorrow mm -hmm. because the reinforcements will return probably tomorrow so right. Like, if I don't feel like searching, can I take a short rest while they're searching? Uh, you no, guys, search yeah. the entire short rest because I'm gonna I'm gonna kick him until he searches. With yeah, him. you can do a short rest. Okay. During your short rest, you can all do a short rest while uh, whoever doesn't need it, being Dan, I think, looks around. Yeah. Prior prior to the short rest, I will cast a spell. Oh, I'll help look too. A little death so. ward action? No, I'm going to mass cure. Oh, okay. Mass healing word so that anybody that is injured can get up and uh, synergy looks a lot better. <laughs> okay. How much does that heal for? Should heal for 
five, so a crappy eleven. All right. And if you take a short rest, I rolled five on song of rest. Okay, Dan, you find a hastily scribbled journal entry that's been stuck between two innocuous scrolls. It's in Undercommon, and so badly written, even someone who reads Undercommon would have a hard time with it. I know you have a couple of people in your party that do read Undercommon. I can do read. I, no, no, shit, I don't. Jerica yeah, does. Don't. Yeah, Jerica. Jerica, the scroll says, No time to investigate. A spirit spoke to me at the moment the barrier was raised. A dwarf, dressed in armor, called himself a Hell Rider. Gave his name as Clangring Iron Belly, begging for help, at a place called Weatherstone Keep. No idea where that is, no time to learn. I only hope the barrier stays up long enough for me to get out of here, wherever here is. So, so he got stuck here. So let me, uh, I'll just copy this over for you, so you can see it. So the writing is under undercommon, um, and it's like a account of something. Here we go. Bum, 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 bum. No time to Whoa. investigate. A spirit spoke to me at the moment the barrier was raised. A dwarf dressed in armor called himself a hell rider. Gave his name as Clang Ring Iron Belly, begging for help at a place called Weatherstone Keep. No idea where that is. No time to learn. I only hope the barrier stays up long enough for me to get the hell out of here, wherever here is. Isn't going to help, just going to run. <clears throat> um, also, in your searching, you find a onyx holy symbol of Loth. Whoa. This chamber, I should, I mean, this chamber is described as a, uh, or decorated as a drow library. The books are all on drow lore. There's centuries old gossip about Menzo, Baron Zan. So this was the secret library of maybe Respin. And that journal entry could have been Respin's that you found. All right, so your short rest is finished, and you emerge from the secret door, all refreshed, to a hallway that extends over a crevasse to an iron door that'll make a lot of noise when you open it, or up a flight of stairs to the west. And let's take a quick break here. Um, break till, let's see, it's 44 after, so let's go break till 50 after. So about six minutes. On the map, are we still... Oh, yeah, that's where we go. Okay. Be right back. Yeah, guys, I think we need to go to the south, by the way. Looking at the map that they gave us, the dude was supposed to be in the southeast corner. I think it's probably worth opening the doors. Okay. I don't mind calling calling the shit. I, I really can't get hit. Of course, I can't hit for shit. But I'll, knock, I'll do my fairy fire prone shit for you. <laughs> I mean, Dan's the only real hard hitter we have. You got a smiter, but... True, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're not bad. That's... What kind of barbarian is Gathkirk? He's a bear. And oh, okay. go going straight defense. I'm at 22 AC now. He's totem, yeah. Totem bar. You said you're doing what? You're going straight AC? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I decided to lean into the claws and do the dual wield, so that took me up to 22 as well. Problem is, a shield would have taken me to, you know, eventually a plus three shield would have taken me to 26. Yeah, I'll be, because uh, my con's 18, so at 8, I'll take that to 20. Nice. And then my dex is 16. Yeah, I'll, so... I'll be right back. I'm going to pee while we're, while we're on break. I'll be right back.
Anybody there? Yes, sir. You see that they're, I don't know if you played the old Baldur Gate games, but you see they're releasing a new one. The, oh, Baldur's Gate 3? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, should have a, uh, supposed to have a beta uh, in August. Oh, really? Yeah. If you played uh, the uh, Divinity Original Sins, that's who's doing it, and, and they're amazing games. I saw that. I, I played the first one. Me and a buddy were playing through the second one, but we, uh, we haven't played it in a while. Yeah, but great games. So I'm yeah. really excited. Yeah, I went back and started playing through the old Baldur's Gate. Yeah, I, I did uh, that one company that did the enhanced. I did. I went back and redid both of them. Yeah, and then Icewind Dale as as well. Yeah, that's on my list next. But those games are so long. I don't know if I'll beat all of them before I get the third one. I heard a rumor, I don't I don't know if it was true or not, that they're working on a Dungeons and Dragons movie too. Yes, had, that's had, accurate. Had some flashbacks to that <laughs> to the last one. Oh yeah, terrible. <laughs> Is Leo back right now? I am. What's your uh what's your AC? Sixteen. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. So I can kinda help protect you. Okay. Yeah, that's with that glamoured armor on. Okay. Which way, guys? Upstairs or down the hall to the iron door? I um Well, Shane said the bravest thing I think I ever heard him say, so we're gonna open that door. Oh, the, okay. Line it up by the door where you want to be when you open it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Lightning bolts, people. Spread out a little bit. <laughs> Having terrible flashbacks to Gorthok the Thunderbore. <laughs> As Dan's saying that, I'm writing it down for a ballad. <laughs> <laughs> he, lived Ralph died, followed us. he lived again, and I killed him twice. Hard's going to be next to me. He, he's like, as much as I hate it, I think we need to open that door. Okay. That's good. The door. <clears throat> the iron door is uh, difficult to move. It takes a strength check to push that open. But the two of you together, you can make with advantage. Hard's got like 21 strength. So he is so all assist. You'll assist hard. He makes a strength check to push the door open. Oh yeah, easily pushing it open, shoving back the guard that was on the other side of it. Oh, who is a uh, horned devil, or is that oh, barbed, barbed that's devil? The guy we want, barbed devil. And then uh, the room itself is filled with a horrible sulfurous stench, just reeks, wafting out of the room. The floor is covered in sigils and ruins of summoning drawn in smudged chalk. Uh, there's a hammock made of chains at the top of the 50-foot tall tower. And up there in that hammock is a heavily scarred, purple-skinned male drow wrapped in chains like a mummy wrapped in bandages. Holy wow. Uh, there are a couple imps flitting, flitting around as well. I forgot them. Let me grab them. Sounds normal. There we go. The imps by Vithran are fifty feet up. The imps uh, by the horn or the barbed devils are down on the ground. Okay, so you push open the door with a horrendous screeching noise, pushing back the guard and the imp out of the way. 
take up spots where you want to be when the doors open and then uh, the devils seeing you shout out in infernal expletives and despite your disguise kits and such hard to disguise hard hands and other things about Gath and the like and they recognize you as the plague uh, the uh, plague stone what is it the plague of plague stone I think that's it yeah and attack roll initiative everyone Uh, Dan, you are first. The doors are open. You, from that angle, where you're at, the hallway you're in is 20 feet high. So from where you're at, you need to get like right behind Gather, right behind Hard to see Viltran 50 feet up in the air. Mm -hmm. Sure. Uh, <clears throat> until then, I will insightfully fight that. All right. Uh, His deception skill is a 13. You got him. Okay. And then let's. Ooh. Nine misses. <laughs> Uh, move where you want, and then the imps go. Very insightful. All right, imp one, imp two. Hey, Both. there's a lot of things to aim at. Both of those imps disappear from view. And then Leo, your turn. <clears throat> All right, uh... Let me run up. Hey, uh, guys, uh, hold on just a second. It'll be just like a minute or two. I have to go get my dog. They're shooting fireworks off, and she's outside, so oh, I'll be right back. A little too early, but, you know. Should I hypnotic or fairy fire? Mm. If you fairy fire, the imps won't be able to go invisible as well. Yeah, the ones that I hit anyways. Two of them are 50 feet up, I think he said. Yeah. And then ah. two of them are on the ground, so it only hit. Those two. are the ones I went and But uh, is is fairy fire twenty feet uh, cube? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you couldn't get to the fifty right. feet, but you could get everybody below the three below or the four below. Depending on where it moved. Well, the. Uh, Came back. Sound like someone shot off a cannon out there. So, uh, Leo was going. Go ahead, Leo. Uh, I'm gonna drop a fairy fire where it's gonna hit the the three on the ground. Okay. And, I look, and I'm gonna try to center it about, um, I guess, on the bottom left corner of the uh, the. Okay. Can still see. Got it. Boom! Boom! <laughs> One made it, one failed it. So the one closest you guys is lit up as far as the barbed devils go. You got an imp in there. I was going to say, any chance it hit them? Oh, fuck. He made it. And then uh, no invisible ones light up. And then I will move back. Okay, after Leo, the first of the barbed devils goes. This guy. Multi attack. You can do one tail and two claws or two hurl flames. Okay. So he moves out to where he can see Leo and hurls two flames down the hall, past hard, past glory to smash Leo, who has uh, cover. 23, though, hits Leo for 11 fire. And that it, that it does. You're okay. You're good. And then shoots you again. Uh, that's a miss. It's done. Then, next imp's turn. That bad boy goes invisible. And then Glory, your turn. Give him a hole, Glory. Up. B. Or. If. There we go. It's on. That's glorious. 
the way I like it. <laughs> yep. Um, okay, I'm going to hit the one that's uh, fairy fired. Got it. Um, so, should do it. 15. A 15 or 27 is a hit. Uh, for 15 damage. 15, okay. A 6, 4, 10. Okay. Let's hit that with the smite. Okay. There it is. Level 1. Level 1 smite. Uh, eight, 10 more, so 20 total damage. Got it. After glory, Barb Devil, the one lit up, uh, doesn't like the spellcaster in the back, but is distracted by the paladin. Oh no, Jerrica. Turns and tail attack on the paladin. 16 misses, then claw the paladin, and then claw the paladin. Oh! Uh, crit for 11 piercing glory. Better on the claw than the tail. <laughs> Vilthran, he will animate chains. Four end to end chains you see sprout. Razor edged barbs animate. When you use multi attack, use each chain additional attack. Okay. That is an action. So, uh, the various chains around the ceiling and around the, the chain hammock up there, 50 feet overhead, all activate. And you got multiple chains slashing around the room now. But that was his action. So, he's done. Gath, your turn. Well, I'm going to go ahead and rage. And come up and demon slap that guy. Uh, 20 for 12. Non magical. 20. You need a magic weapon bad. That's a hit for 6. Or at least silver, since you're fighting devils. How do you. Never mind. How do I not? Keep going. I took, I took the shield. Uh, and that's prone Shove 19 strength. Got him. Prone he is. And then 21 for four. 21 that's for after four. the half. Got it. Okay. After Gath, Jerrica. We'll go ahead and Eldritch Blast after flying up a little bit to get a clean shot on the one we're worked. Oh, he proned him. Damn it. Yeah. I'll just take straight shots then. Okay. One hit, one miss. Uh, seven fours. Got it. Okay. And ah. then uh, we'll go ahead and have Synergy fly up, and we'll discover if this guy can see her, and uh, she will fart on this one over here. Okay, with some save. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> he will do no action and move a random direction his turn. And End of turn. After Jerrica. When, when she flew away, did he do anything? Uh, no, because he's got no reactions anyway, though, so you're not sure. Oh. Not conclusive Maybe. if they can see her or not yet. Oh, the first part's no reactions. Okay, I missed that. Yeah. Sorry. Just trying to follow along at home. Okay, this little imp. He comes f charging on down. Boom, ba boom, ba boom. And he's going to give the uh, prone devil advantage to attack Glory by flirting, ar flitting around Glory's head. And he's uh, done. Next to go is hard. Did he have to go? Or he stayed visible? He is mind. visible, yeah. yeah. That little bastard showed up right there. Damn it. All right, uh, come up here. Uh, let's go ahead and Hunter's Mark to the north and poke him a couple points. 27 for 11 and ooh, a big fat 13 for 9. 13 missed. Okay, next round. Dan, your turn again. Okay. I will uh, shimmy my way one, two, three, four uh, to the devil and attack a 
24 for 28. Nice. Still alive? Yep. I will do it again. 23 for 4. Yeah, we'll always double tap. For All 5, right, you mean? For 5. 5, yeah. okay. All right. And then uh, 5, 6, 7. I'll take an opportunity if you want. He will attack with his tail. 14 misses. Okay, then we got a, an invisible imp. Comes flying down. You hear him come over your head, glory, and distract you and gives the other devil advantage to attack you. Ho, 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 ho. None of you can see invisible, right? How about synergy? Uh, can synergy? I don't think so. Say. Nope. Nope. Okay. All right. Um, imp's done. Then the other imp, who's also invisible, comes and gives Vilthran advantage to attack you, Glory. Ooh. And then Leo, your turn. This is Tom's payback for every time we fuse familiars against him. <laughs> we'll see how fast you can kill these familiars. Then I won't feel bad right? every time I kill yours fast. Oh, I'll never <laughs> Okay, so I took 11 from that barb devil attack? I think, yeah. Okay. You did. Um, wait, what's that? No, that was the reaction. That was the reaction. That, that was the did. attack on Dan. In you haven't taken it. You were hit one time, but I think you already did it. I got that. I got that one. Leo, your turn. All right. Uh, if I step over here, can I see the Barb Devil uh, just southwest of Glory? Yes. Let me vicious mock him. Kill the imp instead. If he viciously mocks, though, he could be a straight up instead of advantage. Uh, so wisdom save, right, Leo? Oh, you got him. Uh, yeah. So give me the damage. He's gonna have. Uh, Loses advantage. He's going to take a hate psychic. Okay. Then the barb devil that you just may not have advantage on glory attacks glory. He moves in a random direction. Oh, that's right. Uh, da, 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 D8. D8. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Provoking glory. Hey, take that. There. He's done. These will all clear. And then Imp's turn. Imp will sweep down. This is an invisible one. By Glory and give the devil that just ran away advantage again to attack Glory. And then Glory, your turn. Hey, that uh, bling. We'll take that. Don't think that's hitting. Twelve and ten both miss. Okay, the prone devil gets back up. Whomp. And swings on glory with advantage due to the imp's harrowing glory with his tail. Seventeen misses though. Uh claw. Claw. Crit you glory for eleven piercing. Hey, that smarts. And then Viltran goes. Now he's going to do his uh, chain attack on Glory with advantage. Ba -ba 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 -ba. 20 to hit you, Glory, for 9 slashing. These are the animated chains. He can't reach with his own chains. Uh, 9 slashing and grappling you. Um... Until it ends, you're restrained, and you're going to take 2d6 piercing damage on the start of your turn. Wow. And... Let's see. Chain icon. We'll use... The fist. For, no, the lock for that. Okay, so Glory's wrapped up in chains. Grappled and restrained. And you're going to take damage on the start of his turn. That's one chain attack. Then he's got a chain attack on Gath. This is straight up 26 to eat for 10 slashing, and you're grappled. Then he's going to do a chain attack on the hard. That's a 18's a miss, and then one more chain attack on hard. 
Ooh, crits hard for 17 slashing. Oh, and you're grappled. Okay, those are the four chains it has. And those of you guys in the hall can see that the chains are starting to ratchet up. Like on the next turn, they're going to pull hard and glory and gath right off the ground. And so and I'm seeing that the reach 10 is not accurate. Yeah, um, he's okay. got his own chains, and he's got these animated chains that he did. Okay. And the these animated, are, the these animated chains like are attackable? 60 feet. What was that? These look like they're attackable? Yeah, attacking. armor class 20, 20 hit points, resist piercing, immune psychic thunder, blah, 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 all that stuff. Okay, uh, Vithran's done. Um, Gath, your turn. So Gath, you are grappled and restrained. And you're doing take some damage, so here's your damage you take. Uh, chain. You take... 10 piercing. Um, okay. Does it, it just says grappled. Is it grappled and restrained? You are grappled and restrained. Oh, okay. Okay. 10 piercing damage and it's your turn. Okay. Okay. 20 hit points. Well, oh, shit. I'm restrained, but it's a straight up attack on the devil. A 17 for 11. 17 hit. 11 does 5. Got it. God, I can't kill nothing. Um, 22 for 10. 22 for 10 does 5. Got it. Okay, after Gath. Jericho, your turn. All right, one on the devil. Tried to finish it off with advantage. Dead. A uh, second will pop on this imp that's being a little five letter word. Impish? No, it's six. That's a hit for 11 force. Kills him. And then we'll see if uh, Synergy recharges. She does not. So uh, Synergy is just going to come up and provide the help action to uh, Dan on this one that's back here, and then it will fly back. Okay. And I will roll it just to see what he's going to do this turn. All right. So he's going to move in a random direction, and it is end of my turn as I will fly up a little bit. Your turn hard. You're going to take some damage at the start of yep. your turn. Here it is. Yep. Uh, six piercing. So you can try to escape this like a normal grapple. Is that possible? Yeah, escape is DC 14. All right, I'm going to try to escape this, but I want to do it in such a way that um, if you'll allow... So are these chains coming out of him or... They are animated. No, they're the animated chains. They're like part coming out of the ceiling. So if I got out of this one, do I think I can climb it to get up to where he's at? Uh, you can, you can start climbing. I'm trying to remember. Are you hit by two chains? Uh, just one chain. Just one chain hit you. First one does. Okay. Um, yeah, you can try and grab onto the chain and climb. Cool. So I'm gonna try to escape uh, with an athletics. DC 14. You are out. Boom. So and that was your action. I is will. your movement? You can climb. DC ten climb check. All right. So I'm just gonna shove my claws in between the chains to get up. Barely twelve. Okay. And you get up um, half your speed, so uh, fifteen feet up. So you can feet up. show your nameplate and put the fifteen feet on it. Anything uh, that's else? That's all the things I can. All no, right. that's all I can. Do. Dan, your turn. All right, I will move uh, one, two, three, four to shoot at that one that I'm getting helped. Uh, 25 for 24. 24. 25 for 24, got it. And then I will insightfully fight Vilthran. Vilthran will try to deceive you Ooh. with a, got him. Okay. okay. Dan is done. Imp's turn. 
Uh, let's see here. Imp is going to fly down and give Voltran advantage to attack. Oops. Um, give Voltran advantage to attack hard. Nice. So Voltran's got advantage on hard. That imp's done. Next imp's going to give. That devil's already got advantage. But if he can go again, but he's going to move randomly. Um, He will just try and sting Glory. 18 misses, and now he's visible. Right there. Your turn, Leo. All right, let me move up. And I can see Vilfrin right there, can I not? Uh, yes. That's, about, that's where you have to get to be to see him. OK, I'm going to try Fantas Force. Just on him, if I can. Wisdom. Oh, nice. Wisdom save. Looks like you made it. Oh, come on. Oh. Uh, uh, I'll stay there. Okay. Uh, Leo's done. Barb Devil's randomly moving. D8. 3, 1, 2, 3. Moves over there. And then Imp's turn. Imp's going to give that Barb Devil advantage again on his glory again. So I'll leave that mark on him. Glory, your turn. You are uh, in the chains, which are barbed. You take seven piercing damage at the start of your turn. And then, Ouch. then it's a DC 14 to escape if you want to try that. Em, and I'm going to use my inspiration okay. to heave mightily against these bounds, ending chains. Good thing. You are out. That was your action. You had your move left. And a bonus if you have one. Now I want to try and get out of the way of the chains. Okay. After you. Well, you'll provoke from the imp doing that. You'll actually provoke from two imps. First the invisible one. This is you. Then the visible one. This is you. And ah. then Viltran's turn. Viltran is going to try and uh, coil that chain around hard again with advantage again. No! Ba, 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 ba. 18's a miss. That's one chain. It's got Gath already encircled in a chain. That one lifts you up into the air, Gath. Uh, pulling you up toward the, the ceiling and then dropping you to the ground. And you take... You, it lifts you up to about... Uh, just shy of the ceiling, so about 40 feet up, and then drops you. Take 12 points of bludgeoning damage when you hit the ground. Does You're my rage half that as well? No longer restrained. Uh, I think it does. Bludgeoning yeah. damage. You're yeah. Uh, no longer restrained, and you'll be prone, though. There we go. Okay. So I'll throw that. So is this tower One, 50 feet two. Top, uh, high? It's about 60 feet or so. Okay, and Viltran's just kind of chilling from some chains. Yeah. I thought he was flying. No, he's just chilling from the chains at the top. So there's two chains. Chain number three on Dan. 25, Dan. Damn. Seven hit. slashing. And you are grappled. And then... Uh, the fourth chain... will go after hard. Since he missed hard with the no. front. This one's straight up, though. Ten's a miss. Okay. Uh, you're more than 10 feet away from him, so he can't do his regular chains on you. So he is done. Uh, that's it for Viltran. Gath, your turn. So Gath, you're prone on the ground. Yeah, stand up. Okay. And 10. I'm going to climb up the chain that Dan is uh, grappled by. Go for it. <laughs> DC 10 Athletics. Uh, you're good so with uh what's your speed 40 yeah yeah but i used half so i can get up five so i can be right above him sure and to make sure oh and if you're only using one arm to climb because you're carrying a shield you'll have disadvantage on the climb checks but i have advantage Right. Because of my be rage, up. so straight up attack. Yeah. Okay, now my question is, 
since I fell, I don't need to it because I took damp. Do I need to attack this turn or be hit to maintain my rage? End if unconscious or turn ends and have neither attacked hostile nor taken damage since your last turn. You took damage since your last turn, so you're okay. Okay, so then I'll double move and move up another 20 feet. Got it. So, so I'll be 25 feet up. Yep, put 25 feet on your uh, nameplate. And we'll show it. There we go. And this guy is up there. Attacking hard. Have 15 feet. Oops, that's weird. Uh, who, 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 who's up next to me? I'm sorry. Uh, this little um, the imp, imp, yeah. Oh no, okay, he's not. No, he's on the ground. Oh. I'm sorry, he's on the ground. Gath is done. Jericho, your turn. All right, so I can see these two imps. Uh, yeah. All right, we'll go ahead and tag these two imps. Starting with the far one. Still up after taking six. Then he's taking another one. And down he goes. And then uh, we'll see if Synergy recharges. She does not, so Synergy is going to take uh, the long route. And we're going to guess that imps don't have true sight, so she's going to provoke from them if they can see her. She's going to fly up to this guy, give the help action to Dan, and then fly back a little bit. End of turn. All right. Hard's turn. Okay, Hard, you're 15 feet off the ground, climbing up the chain. All right, so... I'm going to dash, which gives me 50. So you get 25 total, more feet. So I can do 25. So, so that puts 40 me feet. Yeah, at 40. Okay, after hard. Oh, oh hold on one second. Oh, um, yeah. Uh, with my bonus, I'm going to... Yeah, with my bonus, I'm going to put a hunter's mark on him. On Viltran, okay. Yeah. And then I think a thing that I can do... If I action the Surge, I think I can dodge, right? Yep. Good, yeah. yeah. So I'm going to action Surge and dodge. After hard. Round is over. Dan, your turn. Uh, I take some change in? Yes, you will. Uh, chain. Eight or no, five person. Okay. Um I will try and use the might of my ogre gauntlets mm -hmm. to uh break out of these. Okay. I'll do it with uh, my inspiration. Okay. Oh, well needed. And that was my action. Uh I will stay here, uh and not move away from the imp and then I guess insightfully fight the uh the devil on the ground. Okay. Got him. Dan is done. Uh, imp get attacked by Jerica. Turns invisible. Well. Then Leo, your turn. As I see hard come running back, kind of beat up, I'm going to go ahead and I will cast Polymorph on him to turn him to a giant ape. Who is that on? Glory. Glory. Do you want that, Glory? He might not want it. You might want to ask him first. You want to swing through the chains and go beat down Vilthran? Uh, sure. That sounds fine. Hey, Tom, I forgot that I can heal when I dodge. Is it okay for me to do that? Sure. I'll do that. It's a lot of ape. Yeah. What the fuck? It's the best polymorph <laughs> object. Polymorph is so good. Okay, Leo. You're normally a uh, very intelligent 10. It's gone down to a 7. And uh, Leo's done, right, Leo? Yeah, backing up. Vilthran screams out to kill that one. Barb Devil's ran, ro moving randomly, I think. Is that right? It's called theoretical healing. Uh, yep, so I rolled it a little Barb bit higher. Devil, D8. I rolled it, One, yep. One, two, three, four. So right into the wall there. Then we got Bonk. an invisible imp. Mm-hmm. 
Flies to there and stings Leo. Ugh. 21 cutting Leo. Cutting words. Don't know that you can cutting words if you can't see the attack. Let's, can I not? let's verify. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Features, counter charm, cutting words. <clears throat> Creature you see makes an attack, so no, you can't. Okay, then I will probably drop at <laughs> this point. Concentration. So that's a. Uh oh. You're outside of the Paladin Ord. No, you're not. He was. Gloria was here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you're in the Paladin Ord. So that's probably going to make it. Can make it does he still exist? Is, what was is that? Glory, does he have it as an ape? Oh, no, he doesn't. That's right. Um. Okay, so first let's figure out the damage you took. Took uh, five piercing and 15 poison, but you had 11 con oh. save to have the poison. So make it 11 con save to have the poison. He, he made a nine or an eight there. I think that was his concentration check. Oh, okay. Did you announce what that was, Leo? Uh, no, I, I didn't know which one. I just knew I had both of them coming up, so I just started to click which one would come first. Uh, well, I think you were, intend were you intending that to be concentration. I thought you said it. No? If you did not say it, then 1 through 3 is concentration. It was your concentration check. So, roll a poison save. That's a success. You're going to take half of 15 is 14 is 7, and 5 is 12 points of damage total. And it's a DC 10 concentration, so Lori's back into giant eight, or back into paladin form, looks like. And then, Glory, your turn. For a second, you okay. get giant eight. Okay, well, that puts it into that monkey business. Um, I'm gonna, um, imp. Do... Where's the imp? Oh, right there. Yeah, right beside you. Just ask him to be and killed. I'm going to do... Uh, he's still got almost full hit points. I'm going to do uh, cast Branding Smite. Okay. And then I am going to smack it. Go for it. Am. That's Take a hit. that. Hit your Branding Smite button. So that a is great smite. 20 points damage so far. Do you want to do any more smiting on him? Or is 20 good? Uh, 20 is good. 20 kills him. Yeah, I think the only well, They're not that robust. No. Yeah. Okay. Well, that was are, plenty then. I'm a little embarrassed to say it, but film mirrors are easy to kill. <laughs> <laughs> it's not really much of a sport. Okay, I got one more attack, and I don't want to go in the chain room because I got no more hit points. All right. Uh, You've got all kinds of hit points. How many more than one? Do you have? I reach anything in the other room there? Uh, there's a barb devil over there. I guess I can get to the barb devil. One more longsword attack. Yeah. 14 for 15 points of damage. 14 missed. Okay, after you, Viltran's turn. So we got uh, Hard, you're 40 feet, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm within his reach. You're within his regular reach. Yeah. 40 feet. So you're going to get a couple more chains coming your way. Oh, so, I figured. Yeah. So we'll start with, um, let's try and hit Hard with the chain. Yeah. Uh, and, I'm, and I'm dodging. You're dodging, so you're... That's a straight up, then. That's a miss. Then, disadvantage with a second chain on hard. 18's a miss. Let's see. We got three down below. Should do every chain on hard? No, he's not afraid of hard. He gets right in his face. Another chain on hard. And then chain on Dan. Hit you, Dan, for 15 <laughs> points of slashing. And Ouch. grappled again. <laughs> And then chain Gosh. on Gath. Hit Gath for nine cool. slashing. Grappled him again. And then chain on Glory. Hit Glory for nine slashing. And grappled him again. Oh my Jesus, god, how many attacks does that guy get? Six. Holy shit. Wow. Six, yeah. Okay. Um, if you're well, if you're within the ten feet of him, you yeah. get six. 
that's it but, for his turn. And then uh, Gath, you're starting in the chains. You're going to take some piercing. Um, eight points of piercing. Okay. Um, so I cannot, even though I would be going up, I cannot go up because I'm restrained. You okay. are restrained, yeah. All right, so break free. You're out. Oh, and uh, go up to, because that's my action, correct? Correct. Okay, go up. I can go up to 45 so I can be adjacent to him. Okay, make a uh, DC 10 athletics check with disadvantage for using one arm. So it'd be straight up for you. Okay, that's success. You're at 40 feet. 45. Nice. 45 feet. Okay, and then after Gath is uh, Jerica. Okay, do I see uh, Vilrath? You do. Vilran from here? You do, yes. Excellent. Old monster. 90 feet, paralyzed, wisdom save, repeat to end. Here he goes with a what, wisdom save. 20, he made it. Damn him. All right, hard, don't and do anything we'll yet. See oh yeah, let's if... see what the dragon does. No. So she does not recharge, uh, let's see. Uh, but she's going to fly up and try to help Dan get out of his restraints. Okay, Dan. Yay. You'll have an advantage on that End check. of turn. Then, hard, don't do anything yet, because something's going to happen at the start of your turn. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, could you see that CU starts its turn? Illusion, you look like a departed loved one, bitter enemy. That's you, hard. So, hard, you see that Vithran looks like a departed loved one of yours, a bitter or a bitter enemy of yours. You can tell us which. He's an old drow, so maybe he's one of the ones that imprisoned you. Son of a bitch. Uh, 14 bad. wisdom save, or you're frightened until the end of your uh, turn. Well, I'll just check in. Yep, is what it is. Fuck. So frightened condition is... Uh, Disadvantage on checks, attacks when you see source, and you're, and no willingly move closer. But he's already at 45. He's at 40. Hard is. I'm at 40. Oh. Did you not climb up last turn? I did. I'm a dwarf. I can only move 15. Okay, hard. What are you going to do? And I, and I dashed. Uh... Oh, was but no, Tom, when I dashed, I would have been able to move 30, and I was at 15, so that would have put me at 45. I think he's right. Why would you move no, 30? Gap, You'd only so move 25. 25. Oh, you're right. Because you don't... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Half of... Yeah, that's right. All right. Uh, well, fuck. That was something. Let me just like... Creature you see. Play your own character, Shane. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. Uh, don't let anyone else all right, play him. So, what I'm... Yeah, I'm going to... Uh, yeah, I, I, I guess I'll dodge, uh, and I'm specifically going to avert my gaze. Okay. Um, I don't after, look at him. After hard. Dun, 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 dun. I don't know that that'll help you any, but we'll look it up later. Hard's done. Round's over. Dan. Okay. Uh, with the help of unicorn farts wafting around me, I will break out of these chains. Okay. Advantage on your check. Ooh, just enough. Very nice. Fourteen is what you needed. Okay. And um, do I not take a uh, chain damage at the start of my turn? You will, yeah. Uh, you took seven piercing. I'll uncanny dodge. Can I uncanny dodge that? Um, try it. So it says attacker uh, usually hits you, attack. so no, you can't. Okay. Kind of forget about that. Okay. Uh, and then I will gingerly move into the hallway 
Okay, after Dan, got an imp coming. He's going to grant advantage uh, for Viltran to attack Gath. Aspect. <laughs> and then Leo, your turn. Alright, let me move up and uh, let me just try a. I guess a crossbow shot at Viltran. Actually, let me try one more Phantasmal. Wisdom save, 15, made it. Alright. Uh, and then I'll grant um, Glory and Inspiration. Glory, you have Bardic Inspiration going for you. Okay, after Thank Leo, you. the Barb Devil, he's randomly I moving. I rolled it, randomly moving. D8, uh, da, 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 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so he goes away from you, Glory, provoking. Sure, I'll take that. Sixteen, or do you want to use your inspiration? I, I'll stick with that. Sixteen is a hit. Twelve damage, or do you want to do more? Uh, stick with that. Twelve. Okay. Uh, that's it for his turn. Then, Glory, your turn. Okay, you're in chains, so you're going to take some chain damage. Uh, seven piercing. Okay, that puts me to four hit points. I am going to uh, lay hands for 30 healing. All right, and you're done. Viltran's turn. He's got advantage on the attack against Gath. So he'll do a chain attack on Gath with advantage. Uh, Miss. Then he'll do a second chain attack on Gath straight up. But you did two right there. No, that first one was attack was the damage on Glory and Glory's turn. Oh, okay. All right. Um then so let's see. second one on Gath. Twenty three for God. eleven slash uh and grapple to you. Okay, that's two of them. Then he'll do hard, uh with two more, probably. One Crits hard for 19. I'm, I'm dodging. Oh, uh, does 11. You're dodging, but you're averting your gaze. So, this is where averting your gaze might be bad. We'll say 1 through 3, it makes it so you don't have the fear thing. I don't think you can really avert your gaze from fear. So, I'm going to say you you do not grant advantage to him. Okay. I, don't, I don't think you can avert your gaze versus a fear effect. I don't, think you, I don't think you can just close your eyes and make it go away. Um, so, therefore, you are uh, d dodging, and he did have disadvantage, and he missed you. And then his second attack against you, the chain, it's a miss. Then he's Ooh. already got Glory latched up on a chain. So that chain is just going to lift Glory up into the air, then drop him uh, 40 feet. Glory, you take 15 bludgeoning damage, and you are prone. And then his last chain attack... Mm -hmm. We'll try and grab Glory again. Missing though. So the only one hooked up in a chain is Gath right now. Viltran is done. Gath, don't do anything yet. Start of your turn. Two things are going to happen. First, he's going to hit you with the chain. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Damage. Chain damage is seven. Then he's going to do the unnerving mask on you. 14 wisdom save or be frightened. And hard your frightened hands at the end of your turn. By the way, I forgot to tell you that. So. You didn't even have to avert your gaze on your turn. Okay, so I'm frightened. Okay, so it, it lasts till the end of my next turn. No, just the end of this turn. Oh, you're just, that you're just turn. Frightened. Okay. You're just frightened that turn. Gotcha. Okay, yeah. So you're frightened. What do you want to do? Okay, uh, I'm gonna cl click this. Hang on. Okay, so I don't have to attack to do that. Correct. You do. Um, it's a bonus action. I don't have the trigger for it, but I'm pretty sure the trigger is trigger as you is. attack. Okay, so that's what Jeremy Crawford changes the okay. ruling on. Yeah. Okay. Well, then, uh, I will reckless attack the chain grappling me. Um. Are you with so, what? Do you have a weapon in hand? 
Can I headbutt what? it? Um, you're, you're climbing it with your one hand. You don't even have a weapon out. You're climbing well, the chain with one hand. And I thought that's why I had disadvantage. You have a disadvantage because you're doing it with one handed because you have a shield in your other oh. hand. Oh, ah, okay. Yeah, then I'll yeah I'll headbutt him. Okay. So you headbutt the chain. Got it. Yeah. And then I will tr uh, try to knock fifth rand prone. All right. Can you do the shield mass shove on someone you're not attacking? Do you know? Well, I just attacked with a headbutt. I know. Someone in your, did you attack fifth rand with a headbutt? Yes, I did. Oh, I'm next okay. to him. Okay. And then 21. You know, Vithran's not going to go anywhere. He's, like, not flying right now. He's just in the chains up there. He will be prone up there, but he won't fall to the ground, if that's what you're hoping for. Okay. Um, here's his... What's the strength check? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, I'm prone. Yeah. Well, at least he's oh. got to stand up next turn. Yep. Son of yeah, a bitch. he's a, he's a, he's <laughs> a Granting advantage. bitch. Granting advantage. Yeah. yeah. And, um, and disadvantage to all our range guys. <laughs> Right. They're not shooting. Yeah, that's either. great. Um, I don't. Yeah. It's Fuck. also out of range for me, so it's a disadvantage, anyways. Second headbutt, 14. Okay. Uh, the first headbutt is going to do three points damage. Not magical. All so, two because it was raging. So. Yeah. Uh, five. So five, so two. Yeah. And the next one <laughs> is a miss. Okay. He's, he's prone, so he's granting advantage. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that's a hit for. No, but uh, uh, it's, it's a straight three, up four, attack, I'm afraid. Oh, yeah. Oh. And, and you're restrained as well. Yeah, there are lots of good things. Lots of reasons that's world. straight up. <laughs> so many reasons. <laughs> Gath is done. Yeah. Jerrica, your turn. All right. We're going we're gonna to try to try to do it again. Old monster. You can't keep rolling 20s. Um, why don't you roll? Roll 2d20s for me. Rob, you want to roll low? Shit. Don't do it. Damn you. <laughs> Damn. No, no, those are two. They're not added. That's there's a 10. The it's 10 a 29. It doesn't matter. It's a 29. It doesn't matter. I mean, it's, it's a 19. Advantage. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's a 19. It 19 doesn't plus. matter. Okay, so you resist that? See, no. that was just wrong, Tom. What does that mean to me? So, fail his own yeah. save. Yeah. David, David made me do it. <laughs> that, that, anyway, that was me. So that then... would never suggest somebody do something like that. <laughs> <laughs> so then, uh, let's see, this guy, uh, we don't recharge. Okay. But what Synergy's going to do is, crap, Synergy hasn't recharged this whole time. Otherwise, I'd send her up there to fart on him. Uh, there's nobody else. I guess she'll fly over here and give Dan advantage on... Uh, the uh, devil. This guy down here. Okay. He, he needs to be shooting that yep. fifth ran. Forget that. Done hard. 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 So you... Hard's going to yell down. The yeah. big bad guy is still screwing us, y'all. <laughs> oh, I'm no. trying. Did You're you not okay. see me trying to hold him? <laughs> You're okay. I promise. Uh, we can do hard. Right, I need to make a whiz save right at the start of my turn. or No. Message? It's a reaction for him. Oh, he already used, a, it on he used it on a gap. Fuck him, eh? All right. I'm going to climb up. So DC um, 10 athletics, even, don't even fail. With him. Yeah, don't fuck this up, son. Oh, I can't fail this. Oh, okay, good. I have a plus, yeah, I have a plus nine. So. Nice. Uh, yeah, yeah, so I'm going to get up there. Now, so he's, uh, if I grapple him, can I throw him to the floor? Suplex. You don't think so. He's or all he, he's wrapped actually up. Wrapped he's up like in all the chains. wrapped okay. up in these chains up there, yeah. That's unfortunate. All right, well, uh, time to go to town on his face then. Three claw attacks. Uh, Hunter's mark is on him, so uh, with advantage, I hope. You have to have one hand climbing, so it'll probably be two claw attacks. Oh, right, 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 yeah. Yeah, just two claws. Well, a 23 for 12 and a 14 for 8. 14 missed. Got the 12. Now, on the, actually, on the, uh, should I set it? Oh, well, I'll do it next turn. Okay, after hard, you can do it now if you wanted to do the whatever it's called. Yeah, I was, I just, I was gonna goad him so he has to attack me. Actually, no, I'll menace him. So a seventeen whiz save and one extra damage and. Got him. Yeah, who's afraid now, Bill? <laughs> uh, so he's gonna attack Bitch. all, all on hard. <laughs> it's all coming time. hard. <laughs> yep, hard's done. Rounds over. Dan, your turn. I'm going to uh, sheepishly kind of nurse my shooting wrist 
Well, I uh, <laughs> grumble to myself. <laughs> fucking chains are gonna just go gonna casually shoot at the damn double advantage of 18 for grumble grumble 22. This is the double. Uh, yeah. yeah, the double on the ground. Got it. No. Uh, and then a second one, about 17 for seven. Got it. And I kind of grumble grumble turn around. God, okay, Imp is gonna it. Imp is gonna give Viltran advantage on his first attack versus hard. And then Leo, your turn. Uh, viciously mock Viltran. Viltran trying to offset the double oh. attack. Wisdom save. Made it. He is a wise fucker. Yeah, he is. And he just rolls real good shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's not super wise, but yeah. yeah Leo's down. Barb oh. Devils, uh, no actions and save. save. Wisdom save, DC 11. <laughs> Failed it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, Glory. <laughs> right? Yeah, Glory, you are prone, not not entangled in a chain. What do you want okay, to do? I'm going to stand up. Okay. Find my. Here we go. I'm gonna go over to the barbed devil. Okay, you get attacked with a stinger. That's a critical hit on you from this little imp that was right beside you. Oh, uh, okay. Ten piercing and six poison. Eleven con save halves the poison. It's not a lot of poison, thankfully. You made it with your aura. Yeah, you made it with your aura. So you take um, nine total. No, he didn't. He's a plus four. So 10. Yeah, but he's plus one saves because of his ring. Right. So that's 10, that's... you're right. That's fail. Um, yeah. Okay, so uh, six, <laughs> 16. He's an engineer and he builds planes. That's right. 16 total damage. Ow. All right, so I'm never flying which company again? <laughs> so I'm down to six. Well, I've six worked for planes. all of them, so oh, you're out of luck. <laughs> no one... All of the planes. <laughs> I've never worked for Boeing or Airbus. Nobody flies anyway. That's true. Okay, Glory, what you doing now? Um, exit point. Um, well, you got five more than you need, Glory. Just go for it. Yeah, that's that's what I was thinking. We go, teen. I think that's gonna hit. Thirteen missed. Or are you gonna try and make well, it? Thirteen. Hit? I was looking at the wrong number. Yeah. Okay. Another oh. go. Oh. There we go. You can spite that? Yeah, I've only got level ones, okay. but I'm gonna spite it. Sixteen plus. Oh, that was sad. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and sixteen is twenty-eight. Check my math. That's uh, still there, though. Glory is done with two attacks. Devil's still standing. Vithran's turn. He will nothing to recharge. He will stand up, so he's not prone anymore, and he will attack. Hard, with advantage on the first attack with the chain. He's a feared too. Who's a feared? He's, a, he's afraid from of his me. goading, or oh. his menacing. I mean. Oh yeah, okay. All right, but menacing. The twenty, the twenty-seven hits. Yeah. Um, could I, could I cut in that? Yeah, go for it. If you're within range. Don't. I think you are. Sixty feet, I think, for cutting words. Yeah. So it's twenty-three. Is that hit? Ah, still hits. Okay. Close, though. Close. So that's eight. Eight slashing and grab. And then they got con save. Oh, still up. All right. That's one. Uh, Gath is already in chains. Uh, glory. So there's one chain so far. Glory. Chain attack. Miss. Chain attack. Miss. Chain attack. Miss. Chain attack. Hit. Down goes Glory. I think Glory went down with that attack. Would 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 he have enough to do that? Because he's got yeah. one chain on Gath, yep. and, and he one, used his use one on you. So that's the two short ones, and then four just went on Glory. Oh, the short ones on Gath. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. I'm down. Okay, Glory goes down to zero. Pro and all that yeah. good stuff. Bathrin's done. Um, He will keep that chain around Glory to be those unconscious. Ooh. Guys, does gotta... he have one more chain to hit me with? Uh, I no. think he does. No. He attacked no. all four on all four on Glory. And there's one on you and one on Gath. Okay. The Thren's done. 
Uh, so Gath, don't do anything yet, because he might oh. unnerving mask you. He will. No, Hard's a lot more dangerous than you are. So he will not unnerving mask, but you'll take some chain damage. Uh, nine piercing Gath. Okay. Um. Break free. Uh, 23. <coughs> yeah, that's free. Okay. Um, is there any benefit to me grappling him? There may or may not be, but you don't have a action left. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can I get up and stand on him? You can hey. get up to 50 feet. Be yeah. 50 feet. He's not yeah. prone or nothing, so you can't be in a square. Okay. Can I be above him? Uh, no, the like, 50 feet okay. is the height of okay. the top of the chains. Okay. Okay. Uh, Gath's up there to 50 feet. Jerrica, your turn. All right. Uh, Jerrica is going to see if we can deal with what's down here. First shot on that uh, devil. Ooh, that's a hit. 12 force damage. Finishes him. Second shot on... Uh, I'll move a little bit more to get a clear shot. On the imp. 21 for 10. Finishes him. Then we'll see what synergy if she recharges. She does not... So synergy is going to go up the 50 feet, provide Dan the help action on Vithran, and she is going to move away 10 feet and see what happens. Uh, who got the help? Dan. Dan did. Okay. Uh, nothing happens. Anything else? Synergy? That's it. Okay, after synergy is hard. You can take some damage from the chains. Yep. 12 piercing. Alright, 12. Alright, um. Uh, so he's got that on him. You know, I'm gonna use my. Yeah, I'm gonna use my bonus action. Uh, for my uh, planar warrior, and then swing away uh, with disadvantage. Yeah. Yet. I don't think a ten's gonna hit. Nope. How about a fourteen? Nope. Hard's gonna haul her down. Will yeah. you some help with this guy? After hard rounds over, Dan, your turn. Okay, Dan will go one, two, three, four, uh, five, and get kind of as much underneath as he can. Uh -huh. He's still out of range. Uh huh. Uh, but with the help action, will this be a straight up? Uh, yeah. Okay, but then sneak won't apply. Uh, well, you have people adjacent, so it will. Okay. Well, aren't you a crossbow expert? And you don't have disadvantage, and you have... He's not a sharpshooter. Yeah, I'm not sure. Damn it, that's right. <clears throat> so the 8 will miss, because it's yep. straight up, right? Yep. Yep. And then bonus action, 10, <laughs> ten will likely miss, and then I will uh, start to dig out for a potion for either Synergy to fly by or to help out Glory. Okay, after Dan, Leo, your turn. Some healing here, if you got any, Leo. Don't worry. I got him. Alright, um... I got revivified, don't worry, Glory. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna hurt a little bit, but you'll be right yeah. at the end. I shout <laughs> down where he's next, so if you, you can get nervous. him up, he can ask. Yeah, you better be a quick draw on that revivify, Leo, because he is in the hells already. <laughs> Uh, 
Yeah, I can. Let me do a second level healing word. Well, he's wrapped up in the chains, isn't he? He is wrapped yeah, up in the chains. Yeah, but a second level may be enough. Quick. Which will be a death save, otherwise. And reeled and dropped. It'll get ugly fast. Yeah, let me... Uh... Obviously, you knew, Dave, he never liked you. <laughs> this is, Tom well, this is only going to be the fifth. Yeah, the fifth character he's going to kill. Let's do a... Th I'll do a third level healing word. Okay. Wow. Oh, Ouch. my God. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, oh. Eight back, Glory. Roll 20 doesn't like your paladins either, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently not. Anything else, Leo? No. I'll inspire Dan. Dan, you got Dan. Bardic Inspiration going. Okay, Leo's done. Glory. So at the start of your turn, Glory, you first take damage from the spiked chain of... Oh, you're still up. Six points. <laughs> you got two hit points. One more than you yeah, need. Yeah, you got one more than you need. Ah! That's right. <laughs> okay, so what do you want to do, Glory? It's a 14 to escape. You're prone. You cannot stand up, unfortunately, because you're grappled. Speed of zero. All right, then I will uh, attempt escape, I okay. suppose. Okay, DC 14. Uh, okay, I'm going to use that inspiration if I don't. need it, you but don't. it doesn't look like I'm going to need it. You are free. You can stand up now. Okay, standing up. And you can move 15 feet after that. Grab your weapon and you're done. Vithran. Unless you have a bonus spell you want to cast. No. Vithran's turn. He will start attacking everyone in the world. We already got hard wrapped up. So you'll attack Gath, the short chain. That's a miss. Nice. Then a long chain on Gath. That's number one. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, oh. Then one on Glory. It's number two. Hit Glory and Fuck. dropped him again. And then one, ah, the yeah. one, on, the one on Dan. Uh, Miss Dan. Oh, yay. So Glory is back down. And grappled, too. And grappled. Yeah. Shit, the uh, Gath was not got. Heart was not got. That's it for Vithran. Gath. Um, Vithran is going to do his unnerving gaze on the start of his turn. 14 Wisdom save or Frightened. Okay. Knock his ass down. Yeah, I oh, say no. Yeah. You're not even afraid. I say no. Oh, no. he's pissed now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no one does that to his day. I mean, Paladin has made glory. Okay, so... You're walking on chains now when you're at 50 feet, so you can use your battle axe. Uh-oh. Okay. Um, first attack on Vithran. Uh, 19 for 11 non-magical. That's, that's a hit. That is 5 to him. Uh, let's try to knock him prone. 21. So 21 straight check. He's prone. Oh, beautiful. And uh, attack him again. 21, 21 a for a strong 5. Strong 2. 2 damage right. all at once. All right, after Gath, Jerrica. Jerrica will take disadvantage shots on Vithran. Yeah, with a plus 11, why not? Sorry, 12. <laughs> 15 is a miss, unfortunately. 20 but is 20 a hit is... for 11 force. And move back, and then Synergy will see if she recharges. No. She does not, uh, so she will fly down to the floor. As her action, she will use uh, uh, Mage Hand to grab the potion and move it over to try to feed it to Glory. Okay, you're going to roll your healing potion, Glory. Was it a regular healing potion? Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Use a regular healing potion on Glory, and Jerrica's done. Jerrica, you can have Inspiration, and hard, your turn. Is it on my bar? You are... Oh, yeah. Glory can roll it. Glory can roll it. Or Dan, you can roll it. Um, Bithran, or hard. You can yeah, take uh... some chain damage. It is going to be oh, yeah, nine piercing. I will primal warrior or prim uh, planar warrior. Uh, these, I think these are even. I'm restrained, but he's prone. Yep, dead, dead even. Hopefully. Uh, yes. Twelve. Not gonna do it. Oh, there uh, you go. 
And then where do I click for Planar Warrior? You know, I don't I'm think I, I still it. don't think I made a button. So just roll the dice manually. All right. No worries. Just a D8. A, this a, a D8, and I'm going to add. Uh, let's go ahead and menace him again as well. So do that. Ooh. So that's 17 plus his 21. Marks, 21. And then we got a little wisdom save 17. No, not afraid. So, so 26 five, total. 26 yep. total. It's everything he can do. Hard is all done. Round is over. Dan, your turn. All right. Um, I'm going to. Uh, Oh, go I'm sorry. Over to Glor oh. Yeah, go ahead. I'm going to go over to Glory. Say, it's okay, bud. I'm going to leave, but I'll be back eventually. And I'm going to look to Leo and say, Leo, start playing Welcome to the Jungle as I start climbing up <laughs> the, uh, the chain. <laughs> hey, Tom, can I, can I ask uh, if we destroy one of the t chains, is it useless at that point? Or can he keep attacking with it? Meaning it's got it's, 20... It's useless, yeah. Huh. Okay. He'd have to reanimate, and he'd only do that once a short rest. So. Uh, um, Dan is climbing. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and I will bonus action dash. So you can go... 70 feet. So yeah, you're going uh, 35. 35, and 35 is 70, so you got 35 feet up in there. 35 is another 20 feet up, so you can be a, right up at 50 feet. If I wanted to double dash, but yep. I will. You need to make you make either strength action. or acrobatics uh, DC ten. Oh, to acro. Climb. Yep. No problem. Okay. okay. Yeah. So fifty feet for you. Show name plate. Okay. Space fifty feet. Save changes. Boom. Yeah. Dan climbs up like that. Chains like he's a giant ape. <laughs> Leo, your turn. I can break those chain, or I can attempt to break the chains off of Glory. Is that right? You can attack the chains on Glory, yeah, or try and um, well, you'd attack them basically. The chains are twenty hit points, twenty Oops. AC. Yeah, armor class twenty, twenty I hit points, resistant to piercing. I, I couldn't like pull them off of them like athletics check. Yeah, uh, you'd be actually granting Glory advantage on his check. That's what you'd be doing with that. Okay. Uh. He's going to go down, though, if you... He's got five hit points. Yeah, that's what I was trying to break the chains off of him. Um... I guess maybe just try to take down Viltran. Let me... Let me try one... One... Last... Phantasmal Force on Viltran. Got him that time. All right, so he sees like some sort of demon or something like that attacking him. Blah blah blah. Target tweet is real. Once per round on your turn, deal D6 psychic damage if target some five feet of phantasm hazard enemy creature. Okay, so I want it to look like hard is like two inches taller. <laughs> Uh, da -da, visible target only action disbelieve. Messy to end. Target treat us real. Once brown on your turn, deal. Uh, go ahead and do a d6 now. Okay. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be in the first turn or the second turn, but do a d6. Alright, so four points. Anything else? Um, no, I think I'm out of Bardic Inspiration. Okay, Glory. Um, you are starting in the area of the chains. They do seven damage, and glory goes down to zero hit points. And then Vithran's turn. Ooh, shit! Uh, he lifts glory up and drops him. So glory got one death save failure, but is not in oh. chains anymore. Oh, oh. <laughs> Well, it's either do it now or the chains keep on giving him death fails. Um, so that's one chain. Then you got a short chain for Gath. Sorry, got a short chain and hard. That's a Fuck. crit on Gath for 16 slashing. Uh, and grapple you. 
I'm assuming he stood up. Yeah. He will stand up. So he says two short chains are done. One of his longs attacked, raised glory and dropped him. Second long attack and Dan. 18 grabs Dan, I think. It does. Minus 11. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I did the damage uh, to you. I already don't double damage. Can you dodge that? Yeah, so add six hit points back. Yes. Okay. Uh, so that's two of the long chains. You got two more long chains left. It'll inflict some more damage on Hard and Gath here. These are with advantage because you're both restrained. So chain on Hard. Crit. Fuck. For 17 slashing. Concentration check. And chain on Gath. 22 for 7 slashing. He's done Gath. He's going to do his uh, unnerving gaze on you, Gath. 14 wisdom save or frightened. You're good. You are restrained in the chains. You're going to take some damage. The damage is 10 piercing. So this is going well. <laughs> Um, okay, I will attack, shit, you only live once, uh, reckless and fuck this bitch up, uh, reckless and yeah. uh, attack the chain, cause I'll, it'll do full damage on it. Um, you don't have a animated chain on you, you have his two short chains on you, which are his own chains. So you want to say you attacked him instead? Oh, okay, yeah. You can't damage his own chains. Um, okay. So that's a critical hit for 14, 15, 16 damage. Yeah. So that All does at eight. Once. Boom. Next attack. I'm going to shield him. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shield bash him in between. Yeah. 21 on the strength check. Got him. Down he goes. Yeah. And you do Fair another hit for bitch. eight. Four more. Okay, and he's prone, and you're done. And Jerrica, your turn. Jerrica moves up. Disadvantage, Eldritch Blast. Two blasts, shoot up. I clicked them. There they go. 13's miss. 16 is a hit for 7 force. And then Dragon. And then C... Yay. She does recharge, but I'm going to use her to fly up and give the help action to Dan. Dan, you got End of turn. advantage. Okay. Um, hard, your turn. You're going to take some damage from the chain. It's yep, going to yep, be yep. nine piercing. Oh, still got it. Oh, well, I guess I don't need to roll since I can't <laughs> fail a ten. And now we know. Nine. Yeah, I'm going to have to do that. I'm going to bonus action second win for 14. Uh, yeah, I guess even rolls against this kid. Double check that 14. It might be one low. Okay. Uh, 20 for 7. 20 is a hit. How about a critical nice. for 16? That's all? 16? Nothing else. Uh, oh, God, I'm stupid. Yes, one more thing. Thank okay. You. Oh, how about 16, 21, 29? 29. 29, nice. Menacing, that's a 17 wisdom save or be frightened wisdom save. No. Nope. Oh, he's afraid. It's not a magical effect, I don't think. Maybe I'm just a scary dwarf. Ah. Okay. Um. He uh, he shrinks back of that attack in fear, and then he looks down at um, Jerrica, and like his eyes open wide, and he says, um, "He says, I'm done kicking your guys' ass. <laughs> why, why are you in the hallway? This son of a bitch better not surrender. I don't know." He's surrendering. Gonna he's not. God he's not no. surrendering. He's like sidetracked. He's like, 
Eskelica, is that you? No, I dropped the disguise when I saw her. Oh, so you're yourself? Yeah. Oh, well then, you guys are out of luck. He Sorry. brings it. Hard you anything else? Wait, Eskelica, these are your friends? Why didn't you just <laughs> say? No, I'm done. Okay, uh, hard's done, around's over. Dan, your turn. So we don't look like Drow anymore. Or no, but none of us do. Well, you guys, I put the makeup on. If you took it off, you took it off. I don't know. It doesn't matter if you yeah. guys look or, like Drow. Are, are we allowed? Are we allowed to matter Drow if, makeup? It doesn't matter if you guys no. look like Drow. <laughs> Not anymore. It's Eskelica is what mattered. Um. Okay, so what's the... Uh, advantage disadvantage situation going on you I'm are referring... straight up okay um you have like one advantage and about 10 disadvantages well no i have <laughs> yeah, that's I have straight two, up two advantages <laughs> <from> <laughs> <synergy>. <laughs> oh but i gotta do some damage to you first start your turn because oh, you're yeah. wrapped in chains so you take uh eight piercing Ugh. uh okay this guy's a bastard yeah, i don't roll twos on that ever do i no, I think <laughs> no. six has been the worst you've rolled. Um, and so if it's straight up, I'm losing sneak, right? Since no, you got, it. You, you got it. it. Yeah. Okay. Well then, I'm gonna say, I guess, but it's time for you to change your ways. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <for six laughs> twelve. Do, do you have? Do you want to? Do you want to stop? Uh, yeah, what do we know? Right. Hits a seventeen. We know, yeah, we know, I think we know a 16 hits. You got... Leo, give it to me. Let's see it, Leo. Oh, that's a hit. 17. That's a hit. Uh, Do all of it. All hit. of it. 24. 24, 24 finishes <laughs> Right in the chain hole. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, my God. Anything else, Dan? Uh, no, I'm really glad I hit that one. We're going to stay I around so you guys can save uh, glory here real quick. Uh, yeah. Leo. Glory's got healing potions on him if you want to grab one of his and pour it down his throat. Alright, I would do such that thing. Alright, Leo, or Glory, you can roll your own healing potion. Wow. Do, do the chains okay. release yeah, on us? Yeah, the chains all release. Oh, yeah. Plummet to the ground, right? No, there's, no, there's, there's, a like, a, there's like a whole hammock of chains oh, okay. up there. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so you search around this devil's lair. And you find here the key, or a keystone, which you think is probably what will take you to the heart of the slagtite. So if they're hiding anything here, like, for example, the plans that you're coming here for, you might find them there. And you know the teleportation room is up those stairs at the end of the hallway to the north. Um, you also find uh, it I here, tossed carelessly in the corner of the room, a twine-bound package of sentimental and apologetic letters that Viltharn wrote to Respin in the days before he was killed and reborn as a devil. So you gather those up, yeah. you gather the mm. keystone up, and... Uh, I say we take those, we shut these doors, and take about an hour rest, guys. Why don't we just get the fuck out of here, right? No, we, Job's we, done. we haven't completed the... Mi you you gotta, gotta get, get the plans. You wanna get the oh, plans, shit. yeah. Which are probably uh, in the heart yeah, of this. And we way. can't leave till tomorrow anyway. Yeah, so, so let's do this. So you can do a short rest. Go for it. Yes. Oof. Before you do, before you roll your hit dice, stop rolling hit dice. Um, you want to do, do any spells? No. I got I got nothing. Nothing. She okay. On all of I, I did Song my two. All right. I blew my Spend some hit dice then. I blew my uh, wad on those you know horrible hold monsters. Is Song of Rest only once? Okay. It is get it. at okay. once. Five points for everyone. If you spend a hit die. Uh-oh. Hold on. That was a tough fight. That was crazy hard. Uh, Tom, can you hide my uh, nameplate? Oh, sure. You don't want any of the uh, perpetrators to know who you are? No one can know who Daniel Gerzoni is. <laughs> Not even the Zentarum. Those. 
What's crazy, Shane, is how many times he hit us. A 28 was a crit for him. So to hit us, he had to roll a 14 or higher. And how many times he did it when he had disadvantage? <laughs> oh, I, I know. It was off the charts. Oh, 14. I totally forgot about my uncanny dodge when I started getting hit. <laughs> I mean, I have. I don't think I've actually been hit the last two full sessions. Yeah. Like ever since Dan's been in Avernus, it's nice and uh, pleasant here. I don't know why you all are complaining, but uh, yeah, that button is a is a button that I can do. And right before the short rest, Tom, I want to cast Detect Portal. See if there's any arc use Detect Portal. So we know where the closest portal within one mile is. It's up the stairs is a teleport deal. Planar portal in one mile. Hm. I can't imagine ever actually using that. I know. It's cool, but... Yeah. Are the hells a different plane? Yeah, they are. They'd have to be like a portal to the prime material or something like that. You're all over the place. Hell, who knows? Maybe there's one in the room next door and we can use that to get out instead of waiting a day. <laughs> right. Okay, short rest is done. Um, we need to wrap this up here before midnight, so we got it 45 minutes. You know can that the hallway to the north and the stairs up will take you to the teleportation room. It, the teleportation room is the exit for us? No, that's what gets you to the heart of the slagmite where the plans will probably oh, be. Oh, okay. Uh, do we want to see what's through these doors? Or no, I, I, I'm guessing by what Tom just said, he's encouraging <laughs> us to go quickly to there's, the teleport yeah, room. Yeah, there's like another fight, um, and we need to get to it. <laughs> Otherwise, you won't finish. So up those stairs uh, takes you up to. All right, nothing tricky anyway. Uh, if you look down on the map to the south, you'll see where the stairs come up. I'm going to make a quick suggestion. Whatever the next fight is, we all focus fire on the big boss. Take out all the minions. You got it, boss. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The stairs come up into... Uh, this hallway to your right is a, a teleportation sigil. So you've got the key, and that's the sigil right there. The room is lavishly decorated in drow motifs, but and there was a at the end of this colonnade of columns here, which are all decorated with spiders and spider webbing. There was a beautiful mural you believed probably to Loth, but it was smashed through, and there was a doorway in the middle of it, and that was a smashed open. And now there's a chamber beyond, and. Uh, so you do a quick search of those two chambers. The chamber beyond looks like it might have once been Respin's uh, home, but all the furnishings have been removed, uh, destroyed, defaced. All the decorations are, you know, covered in infernal sigils and such. So nothing here of any value in these two rooms. Whoever lives in these rooms is not here. You don't know where they went. You know that there's two keys to that portal, and you hold one of them now. But probably someone else holds the other one. So, what do you want to do next? Uh, searching the rooms, you don't find anything of value in either room. Yes, the other right, keys you, back the portal and go up. Oh, okay. No, there's a portal. Yeah, there's a portal yeah. right there. So gather you guys around the portal. Hey, real quick, Tom. Yeah. Did uh, the Drow woman tell us anything since we killed the uh, chain master? Uh, d d d no, she just says kill the kill the bone devil, kill the bone devil. We're killing him. That's the chain devil. He wasn't the bone devil, so yeah. there's another one below probably. Okay, you ready to activate the key and step into the portal? Yes, activate that shit. Tom, did you read uh, Rob's message in chat? Tell Tom to stop saving or just getting all my encounter ending spells. <laughs> <laughs>
those fights would have gone very differently had even one of them gone off. I know. Easy twenty. It was like the perfect. Uh, these are like the perfect monsters to resist. Anyway, those spells. Um. There we go. Okay. You step into the portal. You activate it. You step in. The teleportation signal flares with light beneath your feet. You all gather around it, basically. And you feel as if the floor was pulled out from beneath you. You fall for what feels like hundreds of feet, and then suddenly you feel solid ground beneath your feet. The vertigo subsides, and you find yourselves inside a brilliant white geode, which has been polished to a mirror shine. The room is shaped like a four-pointed star. Let me show you a picture here. Right over here. Put your guys all around the uh, teleportation circle. That's right there. You can be at most two squares away from it, from the vertex there. So yeah, Ooh. where Dan is and where Gloria is, that's as far away as you can get. Uh, the room is shaped like a four-point star and inlaid in the floor is a massive icon of Loth that stretches from the north end of the chamber to the south. In the middle of this unholy decoration stands a female drow in an immaculate gown. She stares glassily at you. Lurking behind her, looming over the top of her, is a bone devil. It looks like a ten, nine-foot-tall skeleton with an enormous skull and a dripping with ichor uh, barbed tail. This particular one is carrying a um, polearm. Of distant. There we go. Okay, and um, the beautiful drow looks like that. And I need oh. everyone to make a wisdom check. We'll just make a straight wisdom check real quick for me. Leo, Dan. Mm, hard. You zero in on the eyes of this drow. You've fought many of them before, right? Getting out of the abyss. I hate them. Uh, there's something about this one. She is paralyzed from the looks of her. Her body's perfectly rigid, except her eyes. You see her eyes move ever so slightly to examine each of you, and then glance to the west and to the east and to the alcoves that you can't see from your current position. And that allows you to shout out a warning before you're attacked from the flanks by unseen enemies. Ooh. So these guys pop out of the wall, basically. And... Um, the Bone Devil says, I don't know what you've come for, but you'll stay in these hells and roll initiative I'm going to use my inspiration on initiative very good I'm gonna oh of course I do of course I do I'm going to evaluate so, uh, let's see you also see let's see what else you see in here um, the holy symbol of Loth inscribed upon the floor has okay. been desecrated with glowing infernal text. Uh, if you get close, uh, Jerrica, like adjacent to that symbol, like in this square here or this square here, you'll be able to read what that text says. So there's glowing infernal text desecrating the uh, um, I speak infernal and I'm next to it. Oh, if you go one square south, you'll be able to read what it says oh, too. Okay. okay. Oh be able to free the drow. That is it. Uh, we have the initiative order, I assume. Everyone's done rolling. Holy cow, those barbed devils were fast. Barbed devil closes on glory. Uh, okay. Multi-attack in the paladin. Tail, 22 glory for 13 piercing. Claw, misses claw, hits you for 7 piercing. Other devil closes on Dan. Tail, Dan, misses claw, 19 for 7 piercing. 15 misses. The devil's I done. I will dodge down to... Jerrica, your turn. Alright. Uh, Jerrica is going to 
you know what, it's a perfect slot for it. So we'll go ahead and hypnotic pattern the whole room right in front of my companions, including the drow. Including the drow. Okay, here we go for the devils. Wisdom, wisdom. <laughs> of, of course, of course. They're plus two. Or no, no, they're plus five. And then the bone devil this is the important one. Oh, come on. Wisdom save. 18, Maybe. you got him. He is hypnotized. <laughs> He's not and a don't forget charm. the drow. And yeah, let me do the drow. Uh, hypnotized drow. Ooh, let's see. Why don't you roll for me? Uh, try and roll. Well, I don't know if you want to roll high or low. Roll d20, um, Jerrica. Actually, roll 2d20. Okay. Um, All right. She, well, she appeared completely frozen and paralyzed to you before, and <laughs> she still feels that way. <laughs> gotcha. Uh, so Synergy will fly over this one, and uh, we'll give it a, the old fart. Right, wisdom save. <laughs> Made it. Well, is it is it a spell? It's a magical effect, not a spell, though. Dragon farts? Okay. Dragon breaths? I think dragon breath is a magical effect. No. Oh, no. You don't think they are? No, dragon's, dragon's breath is specifically not magical. Euphoria breath is not magical. It's not like fire no. or nothing. No, it's like the uh, silver dragon type stuff, like all the metallic ones. Okay. They don't have. Uh, they're okay. not magical effects either. I will trust you. You probably looked it up, right? Uh, no, I just I know they're not because uh, that's why like uh, uh, that that one. Anyway, we can keep moving on. I'll trust you. I'll, I'll you, look it up. You can look it up while we're uh, waiting. Uh, da, 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 da. So he will be affected, and then Dan, your turn. The one south of me uh, is an eleven hit. The one south of Dan, no, eleven misses. Okay. And a twenty. That hit. For a big twenty-four. Twenty-four, got it. I'll be it. Okay, after Dan, the Bone Devil, hypnotized. Uh, there's no save or nothing versus that. Correct. Glory, your turn. That one's hypnotized. If I, um... No, neither uh, one of the devils them. by us are hypnotized. Tom, if I sanction them, uh, uh turn undead effect, uh -huh. they'll, uh, the hypnotized one be unhypnotized? I don't think so. I think you have to damage Wouldn't them. I think so. Right, so we're going to try a divine... Uh, not that. That's... A divine... It's a challenge of Andy. It's just your turn. Yeah. Uh, what's it called? Looking for the button. Channel Divinity, turn 30 feet. Turn the unholy. There we go. Undead PNC, here you turn till take damage. 15 wisdom saved the gate. Must spend turn moving away. Okay, so we got the two close ones. Uh, one, two, three, four, and the far one. So we'll do the two close ones first. Wisdom saves, DC 15. One, two. Uh, the right one made it, the left one failed. So we're going to have a broken heart to that guy. So he's turned as well as being covered by the dragon breath. And then. We got the South Devil. Wisdom save. Made it. Anything else, Glory? Will do. Leo, your turn. I um, guess I'll just uh, start unloading crossbow into the one just south of Dan. 25 for 9. That is a hit. That is 9. Uh, hard, your turn. She said, if I stepped here and I spoke the infernal, I could read that? Yeah, you speak it. I just want to check. I don't want to be wrong. I do. I, I know. Abyssal. Glad I checked. Those are different languages. Uh, so I'm well, not going to do that, I guess. Yeah. Uh, bonus action, Hunter's Mark. Uh, this Captain Ugly here. Uh, to my east, and I will claw him twice. A 27, wow, for 19, and a 27 for 14. 19 and 14. Uh, that's 33, right? Yep. Okay. 
and I'm all, I'm all. Gath, your turn. Here's Infernal. There we go. Okay, stepping forward, Eat Gath. It. You see it says, What fun we have at the Spider Queen's expense. Let her symbol be a prison for eternity. So does that mean I can attack the symbol? I don't know. I'll uh, rage and attack the symbol. 19 for 9. Uh, attacking the symbol? Yeah. Let me see here. All right. Yes, you smash and chip the ruins, and with that, the woman is freed. She'll be joining next round. Anything On else, the Gath? side of the boat. Now. And Gath, you can have inspiration. Oh, thank you. Uh, is she still hypnotized? Good job, uh, well, yeah. <laughs> Except for okay, that part of well, it. Well, then I will uh, non lethally. Uh, hit her with the butt of my axe, so just an improvised okay. attack is okay. is that okay? Yeah, as long as you do some damage. Or, but yeah. you're right. Yeah, yeah, you can do that. I got two attack. Yep. Okay, you smash her awake. Um, Nineteen hit for uh, eight slashing. Well, I was trying to do with the butt, but oh, okay, so that'd be like a D four plus two, so we'll say it's four. And boop, boop, boop. then I will trip the devil. For no, I can't. I can't. I raged. Okay. Uh, after your turn, that round is over. And then the first barb devil that was hit by the dragon. What do you roll for him? What's he doing? No, he's hit. He's moving uh, in a random. He's turned. Random direction. Yeah, he's turned in randomly moving. So I'll do the randomly moving instead. One, two, three. So he goes to there, basically, and runs into hard. Uh, then the next barb devil. He goes there, provoking from you, Dan. Um. Yeah, I'll take a. I'll punch him with my okay. uh, with my fist. Uh, <laughs> not much. And then provoking, provoking you, hard. Uh. I'm going to shake the bone devil. Yeah, yeah, I'm, well, it's not going to help anything, but in 4, 13. 19 hit for 13. And then provoking from you, Gath. Twenty for 12. Nice. Hit him as hard as you could. Shit. Did it all. And then he'll uh, shake the devil. Dope. With his action. Uh, Barb is done. Jerica. All right. So seeing that my spell no longer matters, I will stop concentrating on it, and I will use another spell slot to try to hold the Bone Devil. Oh, twenty wisdom. Wisdom, wisdom, wisdom. Got him. Whoa. <laughs> oh oh shit, son. Locked him the, down. The Barb Devil just kind of shit its pants a little. <laughs> It does not recharge, so she will come over and uh, harry the uh, the barb devil and give advantage to Dan. I forgot to roll Actually, for the drow. Let me do that real well, quick. Well, it's already paralyzed. No. Barb devil. Yeah. I just, I know. I did it to the barbed guy. Anyway, she'll do that, move back, end of turn. Uh, let's see here. Good. Forgot to add the priestess to the initiative. 16, so she's going to come after the devil. There we go. Okay. Just remember, Dan, you got to get right next to him to crit. Jerk is done. Yep. For free. Uh, Dan, your turn. I got a bone to pick with you. <laughs> And uh, let's go for a paralyzed attack. Oh, God. Uh, wow. That's going to hit. Yeah, it will for 
27 plus 9, 36 on the bone double. 36 points, nice. And then I'll take the bonus action, uh, disengage. And, uh, four, five, six. So it hits an auto crit on a paralyzed creature, right? In 5 yeah. feet. In 5 yeah. feet, yeah. Okay, uh, save and throw for the devil. No longer Damn held. It. Yeah, got it in while I could. The priestess. <laughs> she comes to there. There you go. You got two turn, two of my turns for two of his turns, guys. Sorry. What's she gonna do? I think it's super useful. Dun 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 dun. Multi attacking times two. Wow, that's some damage. 13 misses, though. 16 also misses. And the devil's immune to poison, so a lot of that damage is not going to be getting oh. through. Uh, Priestess Denglor, your turn. I'm going to try and uh, fish off that, uh, do what I can to finish the devil and okay. spare him any more of Dan's puns. Um. At 17, 17 missed. 10. Ooh. 13 nice. missed. Leo, your turn. All right. Let me, uh, I'll start with an inspiration to glory. And let's see. Is there a way I could fairy fire and not and only hit like the bone devil or is the ceiling in here not high enough? Uh, you can get just the bone devil. Um, you could also What's get that? just the bone devil and just the other devil too. Yeah, I guess I'll do that. Okay. Fairy fire, deck save for the barbed made it, deck save for the bone. Dun, 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 made it. Uh, after Leo, hard your turn. All right. Uh, oh. Here and here. On the Bone Devil. He's got so little hit points. Uh, screw it. I'll go. I'll go ahead and play a warrior here. Okay. On the barbed. Oh, yeah. You attacking the barbed? I, I'm sorry, I'm the bar. Okay. okay. And your D8. 21. 21 damage? Shane? Shane, you there? Can, can you hear me? Hello, hello? Yeah, I hear you. Yeah. yeah. 21. Oh, sorry. Uh, yes, please. That dropped him. Uh, step up. Well, now it's doing all kinds of weird stuff. Uh, I'd like to step up to the bone devil and uh, use my last attack on him. Okay. If you can do it, I don't know. I'm going to have yeah. to reload or something. I will do it. 24 for 7, right? Nothing else? Any yeah. Anything, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll menace him menacing since, since we're here. Okay. Uh, that's another 6 more. Save and throw. Not immune to fear, so here's his wisdom save. Nothing. Okay, after hard, Gath, your turn. Go down there. Attack. Uh, 16 misses. Uh, prone, 14. It's going to probably 14. miss. Got yep. him. And second attack, 23 for 9. 9. So 4. Yep. I bet you're going to trade that shield in for magic weapon next time. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> the best defense is a good offense. Yeah, the best offense is the good defense. <laughs> Got That's all my done. new motto with this guy. Okay, random direction for the barbed devil. He's going to go, let's see here, D6, no, D8, D8, 8. He goes to there, done. Um, Jerrica, your turn. 
All right, Jericho, I'll take some disadvantage shots on the Bone Devil. Uh, 17 missed, 22 hit for 10 force. And then a synergy. Doesn't recharge. A synergy will go up to the Bone Devil, Harry, and then move back and see if it gets attacked. No blind side on the Bone Devil. Who's so he helping? Dan's Dan. Got advantage. Uh, Dan, go ahead with advantage. Cool. What's the uh, the heart on that one? The heart on that one, he is both turned and euphoric. No, no. Okay. He's wandering around randomly, and if you attack him, it'll stop the turn. Hey, and Dan, get up adjacent where you just have straight up advantage. Wait, uh, oh, on the Bone Devil? or? Yeah. He gave That's you advantage on the Bone kill. Devil, not on the Barbed. You were thinking he gave you advantage on the Barbed, but he gave you advantage on the Bone. Oh, he gave me advantage on the bone. Yeah. Oh. Want you to bone him. <laughs> well, we'll all look like away, Dan. Y'all are having one great time. Uh, he's gonna come up. Give him what he thinks. That's a hit. Thirteen. Disengage. Run away. Uh, eight and twenty-three right, of damage. 23. Got it. Wow. Disengage. Bone Devil's turn. Stands up. Hmm. Tax. Hard. With his stinger. 25 hard. Don't do that. Now you got Damn some poison resistance. So this is okay. going to be. I do. 8 piercing. Do no, it's going to be. Uh... Words, right? Oh, you want cutting words? Go ahead. Yeah. 22. Miss, oh, miss, right? Damn it. No, no, my 22 is 22. It. I thought when you were dual weapon fighting, you were 23. It's... I didn't... I Honestly, I can't check. Will you check? I'm still trying to reload. Oh, yeah, you're 23 when you're dual weapon fighting. Unless I did it wrong. So, that makes a miss. Nicely done. Bone Devil's second attack is with uh, his... Oh, nice. Is with his... How, his hooked pull arm. Maybe that should have been his first attack. Also on hard at plus 8. I don't have a macro for this, so... It's going to be a 24 to eat you hard, doing 17 piercing damage to you, and grappling you. So you're grappled. It took 17 piercing. Did you just deduct it? Uh, I have another damage. I'll do the damage. 17. Okay. Bone Devil's done. Priestess is going to attack the Devil twice. Um, mm -hmm. Slam and slam. Hit one time. That's really only going to do, unfortunately, four points of bludgeoning damage to it. And it's not even magical bludgeoning. It's immune to poison, so it doesn't take all the extra. It's only two. Feels like Gath. Glory, your turn. One. That's, that's a hit. That's a hit. And no more smites. No so more smites. 15. Fifteen. Okay. And one more. That's a miss. After glory is Leo. Uh, viciously mock it. Fifteen wisdom saved in the gate. It resists. Hard your turn. You're probably at, not back yet, right? So you are grappled, but not restrained while you're grappled. So you can attack it three times, full up. Uh, 16 missed. No inspiration. 13 missed. 17 missed. Uh, after hard, Gath. You don't have precision or anything, do you? No. No. Uh... A 19 for 6, and a 19 on the... I don't know. Still standing. Oh. Okay. And uh, 21 for 12. 12 to 6 more to it. 
Okay, with that, it drops its pole arm and it clatters to the ground and it pats the uh, leather pouch on its hip and it says, Wait, spare me, let me live, and I shall give you intelligence. I possess the battle plans of fellow soldiers elsewhere in Avernus. I beg of you. Uh, Barm Devil over here randomly wandering around. What's he doing, Rob? Uh, he's moving around. I roll it. He's a three. Randomly moving. He got a eight. That's uh, up at the diagonal, so into the wall again. And then Jarek, at your turn. All right. Well, uh, oh, uh, I was compelled. Everyone, everyone make a insight check, just in case you want to care if he's lying or not. Oh, I'm good at these. Wisdom insight. Great. Wisdom. So Fuck. Dan a got a 28 on his insight check, and he screams, it's a trap. So Jericho, Jericho will keep on pumping okay. uh, Eldritch Blast. Okay. Crit for 16, hit for 12, for grand total 28 force damage to the devil. Dan, your turn. Oh, You're wait. full of baloney, wait, Mr. Boney. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. <laughs> 21. Dragon gives Dan advantage. Okay. <clears throat> uh, 21 for 20. Got it. And then uh, 12, 12 missed. missed. Bone Devil grabs that pole arm again. Uh, you're no longer grappled hard. You can take the grapple mark off. Nice. He's going to he does. He is pissed off that he hit a dwarf with a stinger, and he's not going to do a draw with a stinger. So it's one through three, Gath or Glory. Gath is getting it. So Gath, you take the stinger. It's a only 12 to hit. Wow. And the uh, pole arm is plus eight. So I'm going to use this for the attack, but it's going to be different damage. It's a hit. The damage is actually 17, not 12. And you're grappled, Gath. It's done. Priestess's turn. She's bashing at it. Glory, your turn. She missed both times. Glory, 14. You still uh, got a bardic inspiration, don't you? Yeah, I'm going to use it. Okay, Leo, give him some help there. He's a big number. Dang. Big enough. Well done. That's a hit. And that is 15 magical slashing to the devil. Okay, so one more swing. Fifteen, and that's a miss. I think that's a miss. Just down, Leo, your turn. I will. Uh, you said I can give my inspiration. Is that right? Your own inspiration? Yeah. Uh, go ahead. Who you want to give it to? Let me drop it on hard. Okay. Normally, okay. I expect players to do something inspiring, not just trade them around. I will sing him uh, a ballad. I can't actually sing, so I can't sing. Well done. Well done. Uh, and I'll just... Then I guess I'll just uh, shoot a crossbow bolt at him. Okay. That's no miss hard. Your turn. All right. Uh, did you hear me last turn when I was struggling that I put my hunter's mark on him? Uh, no. So I'll add it. If that's there, then I will take those. So, yeah, let's do some strikes here. Uh, the first one, I'll use this inspiration from the beautiful singing. Ooh, so, nice. Uh, 20, and I'm going to put put that on it. So 18 damage. 18 damage. Wisdom save. And made it. Then that one. Nope. And that one, yep, and let's do it again. And you uh, finish it off. Oh. The Bone Devil drops. And with that, the uh, Priestess changes form into this. Can you blow that up for us? Yeah. Oh, I don't have a picture. Um, but blow it up a fire? Up, uh, Whoa, um, what the f yeah, some sort of crazy, weird, uh, ooze-like, tentacled monstrosity. That came out of Josh after Gen Con. Yeah. Yes, that is right, Rob. That's what it is. 
it speaks with you telepathically. Um, it tells you that, uh, actually it speaks to you in Undercommon and then switches to Elven if more of you speak Elven. I know Elven. It says, uh, you have done well, and I sense that you have saved many of the drow here. I will gather them together to myself, and in return, I have information that will be of use to you. Do you agree? Um, and with your knowledge, uh, I don't know if you would know hard. Have you ever fought these in the Out of the Abyss? Yeah, we did. Yeah. So they're basically demons. So this is a demon in the service of Loth. And it wants to gather the drow that are here still together into itself. Um, none of you sense that it's lying to you. It's got information it'll trade for that, for the lives of all the drow. But we also have a pretty good idea that if we tell it no, it might just do it anyway. Maybe, yeah. Yeah. And uh, that's not the one that we were geist or geist. No. You, you kill the one you're geist, yeah. Eh, whatever they want to do with Trow, you know. I'm, I'm, you know, tentacle monster, whatever. I have the battle plans you seek. So I'll, I'll speak to it in uh, Abyssal. And okay. Say, with your word, you can take those back to her. You know, the word of a demon isn't worth anything. But I agree. All right. Sounds, Sounds like good, a guys. promise she can't break. Now, in order to share the vision I have with you, I'll have to make a telepathic link. Do you volunteer? Oh. Yes. You can Inbound feel a horrible mental control taking over your mind, and you become dominated by this thing. Your vision swims, you hear distant voices, and see moving shapes as if watching through dense fog. You hear a female voice say, My soldiers! She's dressed in shining steel armor. We may be cut off from our forces, we may be behind enemy lines, and we may not have reinforcements in the wings, but we must not despair. We cannot despair. We still have hope and a plan. The canyon of screams, a wretched scar on this wretched landscape, could allow us to circle behind the devil's lines and break through. My soldiers, my companions, my friends, hope is not lost. Ready your weapons and ready your steeds, we ride for the canyon of screams on my mark. And then the vision fades. The thing, this demon, doesn't release control over hard, but instead says, I will gather... T um, when you release me from this prison, I will release him from my control. And you think you need to take her back to the double meditation circle and use the key to get you all out. Sounds good. Okay. You do, and when you get out, she does release him from her control. And you spend the night there, avoiding the devils that are still there that you haven't seen. Um, and then the next day, as devil reinforcements, you can hear them arriving back at the fortress. Um, you summon a water elemental again. It forms its bubble directly against the barrier, allowing you to step directly into it from the dry safety of the fortress. And you're carried back to the edge of the river Styx, where I had a really cool map I was going to use, but ran out of time. I'll show you what the map looked like. Da, 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 da. This one, I was debating there might be a portal that you could sense. But I figured oh. it might be more than a mile away. So you leap out of the river Styx nice. here, right into a, a demon... Um, ambushed. Oh. oh fuck! And they would try and take what you you know what you'd gathered together from the uh, plague stone. Tom prison. was looking for a TPK. Yeah, but we ran out of time to do that bonus encounter, so it's only going to be a four-hour session as far as the treasure and rewards go. Um, actually, no, five because we did one of the bonus encounters. So it'll be five times whatever the gold is. I think that makes it one fifty. One fifty gold to max a two forty this level, I think. Um, you get to keep the sensor. So your magic item that you get is the sensor controlling, um, or the bowl, I mean, oh, bowl, the bowl of com commanding water elementals. 
you yeah, cool. um, on the devil the pouch that he had had no plans in it but it did have slender finger sized ingots of gold and platinum and a potion of invisibility so you guys get a roll for the potion of invisibility so everyone roll a d20 straight and we'll see who rolls highest they can have a potion of invisibility looks like gath got a 19. gath you want to take it or pass Oh, um, potion of invisibility. I, I will take it. Okay, invis to Gath. Um, or Zach, uh, it'd probably be better for Zach. You can always loan it to him whenever you want. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that's the end. Thanks for playing, guys. Good job. Thanks, Tom. Thanks, Tom.